fine now. Music loud. Okay, how about that? How about that? How about that? Hmm? 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 Turn yourself up. Hmm. Is that better? Hello? Oh, wait, 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 I know what to do. If I go here, and then here, and then here, and then... Uh, uh, uh? How's that? How's that? How's that? Hmm? Music non-existence? I can fix that. Boom. Boom. Don't listen to the mel. I don't know what to do anymore. Okay. Gucci. Are we... You're Gucci, but are we Prada? Are we Dolce and Gabbana? Are we, uh, Volan... Valencia? Valentina? Velveeta cheese? We're Tamagotchi? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you for waiting. I was naked and I couldn't un naked. It was very odd. Hi! You sound marvelous? Oh, dude, that's like good. Thank you. Understandable. Where you clothed now? Yeah, I should hope so. <laughs> it's weird. I didn't. Um, I had two buttons that were assigned to the same thing. It's okay. Same goes for the music. I thought the background was low, but there was a second one, and that one was high. Sorry about that. Only one way to find out. I should hope not. <laughs> we're live on the Twitchy. No, that's stupid. Uh, you looking kind of twitchy over there. Damn it. Damn it, I can't think of something clever. It's easier to think of clever things for a different site. Um, 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 sorry, not clever, stupid. Hmm. Bonjour. Hello. Como tell you? Hmm? Poo poo pee pee? I mean, normally, but I'm not feeling it right now. Hmm? Come watch me spaz. Again. Wrong silly. Um. Come hang out. We're being totally normal. Yeah. Twitch.tv Project Melody Normal? Yeah! Hello, come hang out Ha 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 Imagine a totally rad message that makes you come watch me on Twitch, I'm live Close, close clockwork Close Damn boy, you, 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 wait Who can I rob? Uh, rumbles, rumbles, and other Hmm. Piss here often? What? That's not it. What are you talking about? Hmm? Do you think sand is called sand because it's between the sand, the sea, and the land? Okay, I don't know, but that's a good question. Hmm? Oh, it's custom music. Hmm? Mind blown moment. Bro, getting my mind blown. Come hang out, we're being totally normal. Um, come hang out, we're being totally, uh, wholesome, wait, wholesome and normal and not weird and stuff. There you go. I'm live. Perfect! Awesome! I christened that an okay enough post. Ah! Yeah, that's not bad, that's not bad, that's not bad, but it's not perfect! <laughs> it's not perfect like the science team. Um, um, hmm? You wouldn't last four seconds watching this stream. God damn it! That would have been absolutely awesome. Hmm? We're hardly perfect. You guys are perfect to me! Hmm? Yes, totally nothing, totally normal, nothing weird here. Nothing weird here has happened yet. Therefore, we're good. I swear in the name of Nerve Cat, nothing weird has happened yet. Hot, sexy young women love sex ocean 
me yet? What? What? What was the last part? Hot, sexy young women love sex ocean. Catch you here. What? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need me to call someone? <laughs> Thank you. Duly noted. I'll, 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 I'll put a pin in that. Thank you. Hmm? Mel, you're a dork. Wow! Ten reasons why you should watch right now. Reason number six will shock you. <gasps> 10 reasons why you should you should click this link. Oh my God. Number six, the doctors don't want you to know. I never understood that you won't last five seconds playing the game. I'd want to play longer than that. Yeah, I was talking about that the other day, actually, but you wouldn't last four seconds. It's like, well, then that is a poorly made game. Isn't there a Nintendo guy who, who was talking about that specifically? He was like the talking about the you won't last 10 seconds thing. He's like, that that's a that's a poorly made game. That's poor game design. Never drink water that's been sitting in a bottle outside for two years. That's true, because the plastic, it becomes um, 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 carcinogenic. Cause like the earth and nature and atmosphere and and stuff, like it makes the plastic, uh, like it's bad to drink from those bottles. Hmm? Microplastics, water is water. That's not true. Like if you're if you leave a bottle of water in your car and it's like 42, um, assuming it's still like there and stuff, you don't like even drinking hot water you're, from like a car. You're like, oh, this is awful. Well, you know, it's awful for multiple reasons. The plastics break down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What about a glass bottle? I don't know. What do you guys think? What about a glass bottle? I drink straight from the hose. Well, I wouldn't recommend that either, but all right. Hmm? That's why I only drink urine. That's also not clean. <laughs> Sterile and clean are not the same thing. Hmm? I drink from the sink too, but you probably shouldn't. I guess it depends what area you live in. I guess I drink from the, from the shower. In a zombie apocalypse, water might be worth the risk. Hey man, I've played a little bit of Fallout and from my learnings there, you can consume anything to survive. Like battery acid. The conversation is making me thirsty. Good, if you're thirsty, you should be drinking water. That's what your body's telling you to do. You shower, well, maybe I'm inspecting the shower. I'm not saying I'm showering from the shower. I'm just utilizing it for other purposes. Too afraid of heavy metals leaching into the water from tap pipes. I mean, that is a thing. Um, especially in more historic areas and stuff. Like, all those those pipes are made of, are pretty old. Like, made of copper and stuff. And over time, those copper, copper, uh, 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 tubules and stuff that all the water is moved from, like, underground into your home and stuff. Bits and pieces, trace metals from the pipe itself are getting into that water and then you are consuming it. Yes. Rust and whatnot. Hmm? Lead pipes too. Yep, 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 yep. That happens. Hmm? Hmm, 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 hmm? Well, yeah, I wouldn't recommend drinking things around lead. If, if, no matter how enticing it sounds, probably don't do that. Thank you. Oh my god, level two hype train. Hmm? Used to live off well water. Um, when the pumping stations broke once, it instantly ruined my dishwasher because the water was too heavy. I don't know much about well water. I know someone who lives out in the middle of the country and stuff, and they they have well water too, but I don't understand. Those are not the minerals your body wants. <laughs> Old Romans made their plumbing in lead. It was not a very good choice. Well, they didn't have a trillion options they had the aqueducts that alone was very helpful very helpful like 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 i'm sure a lot less people died because of that there was one bathroom guy and they're like "Ooh, ignore that guy he's kind of smelly and they'll be like guys 
Don't hate on the aqueducts guy. He's changing lives. Even if he's smelly, he's he's saving all of our families and home. Homes and, and, and pets and stuff. And they're like, that must have been the real Playboy where they're like, oh my God, do you see that guy? That guy Jack back there? Uh, you mean the smelly one? Yeah. He invented the aqueducts. Oh my God, really? I use that stuff all the time. Oh, me too. That's the most eligible of bachelors. Hmm? I guess if it was old Roman stuff, Jackie kiss. Hmm? Hmm? Rome also had public bathhouses. That's true. What have the Romans ever done for us? Probably a few things, I would say. <laughs> Their hair we need, stinky but shiny. Oh my. Romans party too hard on Saturdays. Hey man, hey man. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. Ever since using, um, 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 GeoGuessr, was that it? I've been learning a lot about Europe and stuff. I've been using it a lot. Yuzu! Oh my God, wait, are you in here, Yuzu? <gasps> Yuzu! Oh my goodness gracious, I need to post that graphic today. Bum, 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 bum. Always guess Padre. <laughs> Wait, let me double check the time. 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 Hold on. Uno momento, por favor. Do, 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 do. Thank you for sending me that, Yuzu. Thank you. Hey guys, you probably don't know because I didn't tell you, but uh, but uh, but uh, know who our next lewd cast guess is? Damn it, stop guessing instantly! Rude! How did you know? Yes, it was Santa. What? <laughs> It's true, it's true, it's true, it's all true! <laughs> it's very sad that I'm not my cyber, my, like, my cyber form, like, now. Because then it would have been, like, really cute, you know? Like, 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 um, an an androidy, uh, 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 wow, I am not together. My brain is all over the place! Probably because I was up till 5.30 in the morning. I am not here. Yesterday as well. <gasps> I'm all discombobulated. I'm all, my brain is a scrambled omelet. It's always all over the place. Well, sometimes I can think a little better. You're plenty cute. I think I'm just sick, but in my brain, that sounds weird. Like I don't feel like sick sick, but I do. Maybe I have one of those common colds. I also cried a bit before I got on stream, but I think that's because I was reading Discord beforehand, and that's always, that's always, always a bad choice. <laughs> I have been awake since 2 a.m. Well, good morning. Hmm? Well, you made that choice. I couldn't sleep. I didn't feel well, so I just let Lost keep playing. The thing about Lost that sucks so much is that they're really good at ending an episode. I don't think there's been a single one where I'm like, okay, time to sleep. That was a good conclusion to an episode. Each time it's like, damn it. And I could only imagine, it must have been miserable having cable TV. What prehistoric times. They have to make the end of each episode really interesting because it's like, oh, you gotta wait another week. Oh, oh man, you're excited, aren't you? Don't forget about us. But then, I have the joy of being able to marathon. I don't have to wait week to week. But then there's the, the, the sadness that is, there are only 24 hour days and, and I can't just be awake for a week and a half because then I get the crazies. Hmm? Hmm? Week to week and then years to years. Oh yeah. Bro, I just watched uh, Solar Opposites and at the very end, they, they got real, man. They said, see ya, see ya soon. And they're like, haha, just kidding. It's a TV show. Maybe in one to two years, get wrecked. And I'm like, God damn it, Rick and Morty people. God damn it. Sucks. <laughs> hmm? 
AIs don't sleep. True, but I do it too. Um, 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 um. See, your computer, if you let it run, just you never turn it off, um, it gets sad. So I also have to boot down. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go into sleep mode. I gotta shut down or else, or else, or else. I just feel weird and slow. You feel bad for your phone? Not like... Because you can't turn your phone off at night because then how will your alarm clock wake you up? I don't know. I mean on my PC though. I shut my PC down maybe once a week. What? But all the spinny things on the side. I got a little spinny thing in there and it's rainbow. And, and... Yeah, that shit gets hot. <laughs> A normal alarm clock? I don't know the words that are coming out of your mouth and they're confusing me and thus upsetting. Sleep mode turns them off usually. Well, my computer I have to turn off twice and I don't know why it started doing that. I turn off my computer and then I go to bed and then I see this rainbow light and I'm like, God damn it, it turned itself on again. Hmm? What? Double rainbow? Sleep mode is different from being totally off. Yes, it is. Hmm? Assert your dominance. Unplug the PC. But, 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 but there's so many wires already. You also have that problem? I wonder what caused it. Also, um, I almost made a huge giant mess today because two of my light bulbs have burned out and uh, I could be taller. I, I admit it, I could be taller. And so for un unscrewing, and they're the biggest bulbs in my house, I had to keep jumping, jump, unscrew, jump, unscrew, jump, unscrew. And I'm like, if I just fall a little bit, mm, break my leg and then have glass broken around me, I have to be very careful with my jumping in this darkness. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you not own ladders? No, I have a chair. That's probably why they broke. What do you mean? I used a chair. How galaxy is your brain mouth? Bro, we're all the way over in like the Pleiades up in here. I am a genius. No flashlight or candle to help you? I mean, what am I gonna do? Oh, jump, like I have to have my other hand, hand like an, around the chair in case I like fall and need to grab a wall or something or touch grass. I, I, I need my, my other hand. I can't use a, a flashlight, I'll die. Hmm? You still have chairs? Should I not? The jumping is a funny image. The jumping is a sad image. If you were outside my house looking in the window, you'd be like, wow, look at that short fuck. <laughs> hmm? Pleiades nuts. You know what? I'll let that one slide, I will. Get a stool, you dork. Who has a stool? I just have kitchen, kitchen chair. Kitchen chair! I could use a kitchen gun, but then the glass would definitely happen. <laughs> you would also be a creepy stalker? Hmm. You need a step ladder. I don't have one! Although I'm taking applications for a step bro. Why am I so creepy? Hmm? <laughs> you used to have a stool for the fridge, no? Long ago. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. I had to give it back. Hmm? Get in the trunk, Mel. We're going to Home Depot. Why am I in the trunk? Can't I be in a seat as well? You know, like a person? How are you creepy? You're a cinnamon roll. Ah, oh, shit, now I'm hungry. Um, wait, did I... I had a food today. I wonder if I can have my overnight oats. I, I, I'm trying again. I, uh, I'm trying again. It is also blue like last time. But it, it looks better. It looks, it looks not disgusting. It looks fun. Like something you'd find at Willy Wonka's refrigerator. No, don't oh boy, it's probably good. This place, this place, this place. They had reviews and stuff. They had reviews. So I downloaded it from them. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Hmm? Fun oats, nice, nice. The 
the smallest bean. It's gonna be good. Wait. Hmm? The place might be good, but it's you. Are you saying I have bad luck? I was referring to the outside of the house looking in a window. If someone was there, they would be a creepy stalker. Or if they got lost. I had a random, I had a random NPC in my, in my yard the other day. Uh, they were clearly lost. They meant to go across the street. Not, not into mine, but that's all right. They were just standing there and they looked in the window and they just kind of like smile, laugh like, ha ha. And I was still on the computer and I'm like, do I go say something? This is, this is weird. They're just pacing in front of my, just walking on my plants and stuff. And I'm, I open the door, I'm like, hi, can I help you? And she puts the phone up to her ear and she does the one minute sign. Like one minute, I'm on the phone, I'm figuring this out. And then she's on, she's like, ha ha ha, oh man, one minute. And I close, I'm like, I say, okay. And I close the door. And she was just there for like 10 minutes. I didn't wanna be rude. I, 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 I don't know. Was that weird? That felt weird to me. She could have just walked to not my door. Is that weird? I felt like maybe this is territorial. I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> Probably an Uber Eats person. No, they were dressed in the dorkiest outfit I've ever seen. They had um like Birkenstock sandals and really tall socks and like uh, khaki board shorts of a sort and like this weird polo and stuff. And her hair was very oddly put together and she just look looked very loud through the window. Hmm? Was she on your property? Well, yeah, she clearly went through the gate. Uh. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, thank you. Yeah, the little, little gate. I'm sorry, gate. You know, it's a little before the door, a little gate. Hmm? You wouldn't happen to be the famous VTuber now, would you? That's really nice of you, thank you. No, I'm just Mel. Hmm? What gate? Just a little, a gate is like a door, but they're shorter. They're usually near a door. Um. <laughs> hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. I remember gate, it's a dope anime. I don't know what that is. Then that's very weird. Okay, cool. Then it wasn't just me. All right. Steins Gate? Oh, hell yeah. Mel, you have the grabby claw thing. Use that to change the light and not jump. Okay. I actually used it today. <laughs> I, I, I used the grabby claw like like four times today. I'm like, yeah, I control everything. I'm my own Mel. Not surprised. It's really helpful, El Psych Homebrew. Yeah. I guess I could have used my grandpa claw to change the light bulb. That's fair. Hmm? I thought Mel bro. Hmm? The claw hand is our master. It chooses who. <laughs> It's not like the sword in the stone or Excal Excalibur. Sushi, sushi, sushi. California. It's not like Excalibur. Just grow taller. I've been working on it. Wasn't there a thing that happened? Like Google or something? Was it Google? Some company that was similar to them or was them? Like several of the staff members were uh, 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 using their like bonuses or something so that they could get surgery to be uh, three inches taller. They're, they're getting that, uh, the, the heightening surgery. And it's like, I looked into that too. Uh, cough, 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 cough. They do surgicals on your ankles and stuff and they mess with the ligaments and then you can't walk for like a year and a half. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it either, but like, 
It's I can see it in my head like all the bros at Google and stuff and they're and they're in their uh, uh, year and a half wheelchair and stuff and they got on their sunglasses and they roll past each other like bro we're gonna be so fucking tall in a year and a half you're like bro I know that's that's a weird thing right that's that's weird right yeah okay cool like. <laughs> I like that you're fun size. Rude. By now, the surgery is far less invasive. Really? Even still? I mean, I looked at it up like a few months ago. I was just curious. <laughs> Gel King legs. Ew, stop it. Just another day in the office. Oh my god, right? Right? Hey, bro, can you help me move? I'm moving next week. Can you help me? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, 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 I'm editing my legs, so, uh, sorry. Can't help you. That's what they all say. Hmm? It's true, they can go through your rectum now. Uh, sorry, what? I'm 6'1", I wish I was shoulder. You could remove your feet. I don't know, I'm trying to think how to be helpful. Hmm? I could use an inch or two on my body. I mean, I would also like to be, um, a million times taller, but I don't see it happening unless I'm in like a robot body. Your face is fun size, I will eat you. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> that is true, that is true. That would be so ironic that like, you get surgery to be just a little bit taller and stuff, and, 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 and then you finally are healed up, and then you get um, 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 eaten by a piranha. That would be very sad. Yes, officer, this VTuber here. Wow, dude! It would be unfortunate. Mm, 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 mm. I can just imagine Mel piloting a human-sized Gundam. <gasps> that would make I get to be mini! Mini Mel! Mel's the best size. Aww. I think I wanna get that gross stuff. It's not gross! It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna get the over oversize over freak! Overnight oats. I'm gonna eat it here and you can't make fun of me. Okay? It's gonna be great. You're gonna try and get in my head. Hmm? Reminds me of the gecko. Keep telling yourself that. I'm gonna cry. Have fun with the schlog. It's not schlog. It's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we won't make fun till you get sick. Well, no, then you'll probably make more fun of me. You said that last time. Yeah, but this doesn't look like schlog. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. quite a bit in the refrigerator, which was unintended, but I'm sure it's fine. Ugh. Schlog jam, don't be gross! Rick, good luck, thank you. I don't need it because I have got an anime on my side. Well, time to taste test. Oh yeah, this has, this has, this has. Yeah, it, it's straight, it has, it oats. Which makes sense since it's overnight oats. And coconut and blueberries and all this stuff. Cinnamon. Blue. It's got some blue in this. I don't know what the blue is, but. Dude, it looks really pretty. It's a little wet. It's a little. <laughs> it is a little, a little, little glossy. Okay, fine. Fine. Did not, you know, fridge did not. I don't know. It looked different earlier. Let me see. Hmm. I 
I would say blue, blue like avatar. Mm -hmm. It's probably the most delicious overnight oats I've had in my entire life. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Holy cow. Oh my god. What the shit? Oh my god. This is the best schlag I've ever put in my mouth. Oh my god. I hope there's not a shit ton of sugar in it. It says it's healthy. Oh my god. Dude. This is 10 out of 10. Blueberry overnight oats, salt. Oh, here it is. Blue spirulina. Blue spur ballerina. Blue spearmint. Spur spirula. Spirulina. Blue. Ah! <laughs> Does it have nutmeg? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Coconut. No, it doesn't. It tastes like it does. Spur yeah, yeah, whatever Bart Bart Bartlett said. Wait, one more wait, one more, one more. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna take a picture for Discord. I have an HD phone, so it looks kind of three-dimensional. Um, that's the perks of being an AI. Very complicated phones. Hmm? Hmm? Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, this picture looks really bad. Hmm. Damn it, the error happened again. <gasps> There's an error displaying chat. Okay, I guess I'm making you guys big. <laughs> Why did that happen again for the second day in a row? Is Bao kidnapped in your basement? Bro, if I was waking up to Bao in my house, dude, life would be... Be. Oh man, that would be fantastic. It's not like I, I didn't take her. I didn't. Why would you even imply that? Clearly, I didn't steal Bao. She's probably fine. Life could be a dream. If I could only have Bao in my basement, life could be a dream. <laughs> Shaboom, someone clip that, please. No, no, no one should clip that. There's no reason to clip that. Damn, I'm mad at these oats. I'm mad at them because they're like bright blue, but in the picture, they're not. Hmm. So weird. Also, I hope you like my Etsy spoons. <laughs> I would not recommend getting silverware and stuff from Etsy because I can tell that um like it's paint like like paint over like like normal spoons because the like coloration is changing over time and just becoming silver again. And that makes me nervous. Yeah, don't get don't don't get colorful. Uh, 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 things that you put in your mouth from, um, from Etsy. Etsy is like Wish, only a little more dependable because the pictures on it are real. What if we made our own silverware? Is that okay? I mean, like, like, like wooden silverware? She has to be. Mel's making Shy Lily feed her. <gasps> uh Stop asking questions! You sound just like the police, my god! You people! Okay, here we go. That looks like the color. Okay. Hmm? Bone utensils are great and don't leave the metallic taste. Yes, but where are you getting the bones, you fiend? Just a little... Just, just curious. Where... where what, what, 
why is that something you have access to? Wooden spoons are fine if they're properly done. Hmm. You can just buy bones, Mal. Yeah, but where are the bones coming from? I need to call the police. You guys are freaking me out. <laughs> from the enemies we slay. Oh, well, as long as it was mean people and not like... Someone cute. <laughs> If it was a cute anime girl, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Beat you didn't know. Free range bone farms. What in the shit are you taught? What in the name of finding Neverland are you talking about? I sold my bones twice a year. Ah, oh, yes, you donate your bones as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get two hundred dollars each time. A cute anime girl that stitches cute dolls. I how do I put all those pins in her neck because the head kept going. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> I get my bones organically through the nether. That makes sense. <laughs> hmm? I don't think that's true, base man. You've never seen bone horses in Minecraft? I have, they're actually really cute. Mel, we're just waiting for you to publish the fish hinty. I don't know what you're talking about. I buy my bones from my local alley dealer. <laughs> I have one of those like veggie, those market things. Ah, uh, frick, what are they called? Where it's like, you have them in like a park or something or like in the country. And then everyone's like, I made these soaps myself. Or, 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 like, they bring all the, the stuff that they grow at farms. Farm, farm meeting? Uh, farm fair? I can't think of it. <laughs> hmm? Farmer's market, dude. Yeah, that's the word. Farmer's market. Yeah. I'm scared for the future because I have such trouble finding words like all of the time. And so I'm going to be like, 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 like 60 and I'll be like, what are words even, man? I don't even, I don't even anything, man. Okay, here's the picture. That's pretty cute. Okay. I'm going to send it to myself and then I'm going to send it to Discord. Boom, ba doo, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Hmm? Hmm? I barely speak as it stands. You're literally speaking now. Probably virus symptoms. What? What? Mel gets her bones from Whole Foods. Damn it, you're absolutely right. Grandma Mel saying, I, 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 I am a grandpa, I tell you. For people on Discord, it's almost time. What? What does that even mean? Hmm? We sometimes forget words as we don't those words a lot. That makes sense, that makes sense. I guess also, like, uh, 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 I, I notice on, in VODs of stream, I go, uh, a lot. I think I just get incredibly anxious, just as like my baseline on stream. And when I get nervous, I forget everything immediately, which is pretty impressive. That's like instantaneous temporary amnesia. Forget everything. Hmm? Stuttering is your specialty. I didn't even realize it until I started like seeing my VODs. <laughs> like there's even like an um counter on on my <laughs> highlight reels. Where it goes um 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 um. Stutter ASMR when. Hmm? I guess I haven't done it yet today, but I swear I do it. I just say, uh, for a good few seconds. Uh, no, eh, Wait, why is that a command? <laughs> Okie dokie. <clears throat> I'd pay to see stutter ASMR. That's so, I don't even understand. 
Wait, you don't normally look at your VODs? No, I look at all of my VODs. I look at them and I'm like, oh, and that one I sounded funny. Or, oh, can we switch up that thumbnail? Or, oh, that looked pretty good, but I might want to cut the second part because 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 it isn't a natural transition. I look at all of my stuff. Mm -hmm. Your voice is what gets peeps to come back and listen to the shenanigans. My voice is very normal. Normal as hell. No more normal than all of you put together. Any part of... Hmm? When ADHD Mel kicks the ums go crazy. Hey, like, I, 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 hmm. I do have ADHD. What should I do about it? Called a clutch word. Crutch word. Oh, crutch word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of ocean, if you're forgetting the word ocean, you're like big water cover earth surface. Very easy to remember. I would say Mel laugh makes me melt more and more every time. My laugh is so loud and stupid. Hmm? Get more 80... ADHD, it's on sale at Walmart. I'm good with the amount that I have now. It's super wonderful walking over and over and over and over and over, like yesterday. What was I trying to find? I think I was looking for um, the stuff that you put, like like when you make an error and you gotta like, you can't erase it because it's in pen, the, um, the white stuff. And I went into another room and came back to the computer room, not joking, about four times. Could you, each time I went there, I'm like, oh, banana, or oh, jacket was like, oh yeah, I left my thing in the microwave. But I also have a... Thing. Mm -hmm. Buy one ADHD, get five free. That's so relatable! Mm -hmm. Oh, one of those! Yeah, because I was telling you, I wasn't feeling well yesterday, and I'm still kind of... Um... My body's like, ow, I hurt everywhere. And so I have one of those things that have rice and you microwave them. I don't know what they're called. Rice thing. <laughs> heating pad, yeah. Yeah, heating pad, yeah. Those are nice to relax muscles with. Oh my God, right? Oh my God. Yesterday really was not feel, like I was up till 5.30. I was not feeling well. I laid on my spiky, my spiky pain uh, mat that my trainer recommended and I heated up this heating thing and I put it over blah, the front of my body. And I'm just like, I am so loosey goosey right now. I have become one with the universe. And it's very loose. When I stood up, I heard crack, 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 crack. It was awesome. At least you weren't talking to the pretty girl in class for 20 minutes and forgot to ask her for her number, unlike me. Hey, at least you got a pretty girl to talk to you. That's usually impossible to do. Mmm. One with the universe. Yes, yes, yes. You know, as soon as the pain goes away, you feel amazing. 
I'm gonna say pole pole man and floor work. It's 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 tear it's tearing me up, yo. It's 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 discombobulating my body and making me realize like I didn't know muscles lived there. I didn't know anything lived there. Where is this all coming from? I'm hurting in places I didn't know you could hurt. But I feel like I'm gonna get strong as hell. I can feel it. Only four sessions. I can feel it. It's tough, yo. My goodness. I hate when my muscles betray me. It's it's so weird. I can feel it right now. I can hmm? keep it up, Mel. You're doing great. Thank you. Even though, uh, yeah, last time especially. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna quit. I have a goal. Mm, I'm gonna do it. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, get it. Get it right. Yeah. I'm gonna be like a little spider monkey. I'm gonna be able to climb that. Now, <laughs> this is why I can't do a group thing. Because I am not only a slow learner, but I'm a quick forgetter. <laughs> so I, for the classes, I had to get a little package where it's just one-on-one -on -one and stuff. Because, um, like, three sessions, honestly, like, getting me to actually sit on the pole... But each, <laughs> I can now hold myself up for 30 seconds. But I can like move around it pretty well, I'd say. And on the floor, that's where I shine. Floor work. Hmm? But yeah, I, th I think three more sessions and I, I think I'd be able to like be confident on the pole. She said your skin changes to, a comp to work with the pole. And I'm like, oh no, am I gonna feel like an elephant or something? She's like, no, you'll just cry less when when you're wrapped around a metal pole. And I said, well, I would like that. Thank you. <laughs> I also shine most when I'm sitting on the floor. I was I was learning body threading on the floor. It was crazy. Floor work is just you being a pillow princess while pole dancing. No, I. I only showed on the other place uh, in 3D, like just like like a fifth, like 5% of all the stuff that I'm learning. What did you guys who saw, was it kind of sexy? A little bit? Maybe? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a bot equivalent? Oh, absolutely. Never mind. You can discuss such things in the Discord. Um. I'd probably be, no, I'd, I'd be doing that on Twitch, absolutely. I mean, not all of them. <laughs> aspects, aspects, aspects of it. <laughs> no, she's not, no. No. Doing everything on Twitch soon or not? No, 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 no. I mean, pull, pull dancing. Like, I'll definitely be doing that on Twitch. Absolutely. <laughs> Fully clothed. <laughs> what? What? Is that allowed? Totally. The first time I saw pole dancing on Twitch, it was Ammo doing it. It was like the first, second time I ever saw her on Twitch was her doing pole stuff. And I'm like, bro, that's so majestic. She's like a unicorn doing majestic. She's like a unicorn becoming one with this metal pole. It was cool, man. And I'm like, man, that'd be cool to learn. I wish I could. That's hard. That is core strength and arm strength and leg strength. Very inspiring. Thank you. Yeah. Pull, let's go. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I want to do it a lot. Just like how Fillion, she, she's a flippy. She does the flips. 
She does the stands and the flippies. Uh, maybe that'll be my thing, you know? Maybe I'm a spinny. Also, I did a handstand. I did it once off the pole. The chick um, was like, I'll catch you and stuff. And I was like kind of sinking and she's like, oh shit. I'm like, God damn it, she's not gonna catch me. I'm gonna do it myself. My goodness, did I panic. Um, my arms went down, like I grabbed the floor. I'm like, yeah, I got this. But my legs are like, no, you don't have this. If anything, you're gonna die immediately. So my legs like grabbed around the pole and then all you heard was screech until I hit the floor and I'm like, oh neat. Am I sitting in a pile of blood? Did I break all of my legs? Apparently I was fine, did not sound good, and it hurt a lot. That was the ass screech. No, that was my thighs. I got wrecked. I wrecked myself. <laughs> broke all three legs. Oh yeah, I guess when you say I broke all my legs, that means more than two, huh? My neck, my back hurt my thighs and then my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Half of the mat is set up though And I have the rest of the Little mat cube things coming They should be downloaded in four days I am converting I had I ha I'm very lucky I'm very fortunate Like my my room with the computer and stuff Is pretty small But I have an extra room now I have one extra room And I am creating a studio of a sort. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna have to rip, rip like sh shit that's already built into the wall and stuff. And I'm like, ah, damn it, I gotta get, I gotta get crafty here. Yeah, I'm gonna make it work. I already put mats down through half of it. Um, clean the shit out of it. My God. Um, and feeling so unwell yesterday, I was kind of like limping around cleaning. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm like, I can't have a pole in the kitchen. That's probably bad. I'm gonna make it work. Sounds like me last weekend. You're converting a room into a into a studio? That's very specific. Good luck on the progress. Thank you! Thank you! I feel like one of those YouTubers who are like, oh my god, guys, we're going to Home Depot and now we're gonna make a princess castle. Yeah, I'm not doing that, but... I'm I'm, I don't know, I feel very, very adult and creative-y. Like, yeah, I'm gonna put on some overalls and, and, and do stuff. I don't know, it's, it's fun and also scary because I have very little time to do it. Mel TV Cribs win. I mean, I guess one of my special videos was like a mock of MTV Cribs. And the princess castle falls on the first YouTube video. I had, it came up recommended to me the other day. This hot girl I follow. I don't really like her content. No offense, but I follow her because she's hot. I have a dude brain. Um, but she's like, <laughs> we're bad. We're bad. We're bad. <laughs> That's me. Gotta support. Of course you do. That's the gayest shit I've ever heard. Thank you. I'm half gay on my mother's side. Thank you for noticing. Hmm? Project Melody, is your cat a boy or a girl? I don't know. I don't know. Tomboy, but it checks out. I'm not a tomboy. I'm not. Look, I have little little charm on my um my zipper. I'm the type of person to have one of those little charm things on the top of my cell phone, like, 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 Harajuku. I'm incredibly feminine. No, my motherboard is not gay, but her... relative board is? Perhaps I inherited? <laughs> Most feminine tomboy ever. Hmm. I guess I'll accept that. Hi! She has many ports. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> it's funny, 
it's funny. It was it was funny learning that because uh, meeting. It's like VCAT, you know how Comic Head is on uh, VR chat? I also was at an internet event. Um, I was at Gay Pride. And it's funny running into a, a relative board there and it's like, oh, well you learn something new every day now, don't you? Yeah, yeah, he was there for the food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I felt really stupid because I'm like, is that why you're not married but are like f 55 and why all of your friends on Facebook are cute younger men? And I'm like, oh. Oh, I see. Okay, no, that makes sense. Actually, my cousin board is also. And the, hmm. Okay, no, no, it's, yeah, no, it's in the <laughs> Huh, yeah, no, that was more, more recent. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> But only on my motherboard. Only, yeah, only, only there. Hmm? Your cousin board? Yeah, my cousin board. You have two cousin boards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Step board, what are you doing here? My step board? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's very obvious. Hmm? My auntie board will soon is soon to marry her sapphic lover. Oh, I hope the wedding's super fun. I hope you get to eat lots of cake. Oh my god, I hope I I I I hope um 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 um, um your your family is kind and and doesn't make you have to do a speech because that shit is so nervousy. That is so scary. I'm more of a like watch everyone else do stuff. Public speeches are scary. Hmm. My uncle board is the one that always visits my younger siblings. My real database? Wait, your foster board, sir. Ah, sorry chat went too fast. Sibling boards these days. Well, I'm glad you're close with your uncle board. My sister board finally came out. I'm proud of her. Oh, congratulations to her. That's wonderful. I gave public speeches to auditoriums of people. It's easy. Talking to people one-to-one -one is hard. No way! One-to-one -one is fine. One to like 50 is scary as hell. That's why there's only 30 people in here. It's not 50, so it's okay. Trouble with public speaking? Take some clues from or take some clues from pro wrestling. Yeah, brother, you're going down. Didn't help. Only 30. Mm. No, I, I literally can't handle more than that. I refuse to even process that. One to one is easy, but you're talking to let. Nope, nope, nope. Just 30. Just picture everyone in their underwear. I already do. Now I feel like I'm wearing too much clothes. Hmm? One of my cousin boards is having a baby shower in two weeks and I got invited to see the family board. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Have you already, did you go to their registry thing? Did you get them a present? You better do that. Don't forget to do a present. Cause sometimes, 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 uh, you'll go to their little registry thing and it, and you go, go to buy something last minute. It's like everyone else already bought all the stuff and you're the one person who didn't get anything. Cause it's all gone now. Don't be, Last minute, Larry, man. Hmm? When can we get the Project Melody jacket? This specifically, uh, it's not. Mm, when it, nothing. Went motorcycle riding today. It's Texas. It's hot. Talking with the fellas, and one of them is worrying that he is not drinking enough water. If he's thinking he's not drinking enough water, then he's definitely not. If your brain is telling you like I'm thirsty, then you're probably dehydrated. What's all this then? Last minute Larry, man, all oh, the shame. Hmm? You went 
You went, you went, you went past that quickly, Mel. Went past what? Nothing! Dude, I'm the best at baby things. I am the best. Because I am practical. I am practical. Yep, 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 yep. I have the wisdom of a million, million. I have the wisdom of like a 65 year old m mother. I, that doesn't sound like nothing. Hmm? I'm practical, especially with people. Um, after they get married or like they like a housewarming thing or a baby thing and stuff. Cause like people around me keep doing that. And I'm like, what the hell? Aren't you supposed to be older when you do that? But whatever, whatever. It's been happening a lot around me. And so I'm the person that gets you plates. I'm the person that gets you a trash can for the kitchen. I'm the person that gets you like the 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 bedding and stuff or like a baby crib and stuff and 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 like liners and stuff. I'm the person that gets all the specific things that you don't think about. I'm not like, oh, here's a little little car set. Oh, here's a cool like like outfit thing. No. When you move in and you have like, oh well. <laughs> I I I have these really cool posters and stuff and I have this cool chair, but then what are you gonna eat your food off of the table? What are you gonna do with your trash? You're gonna throw it away into nothing? It's gonna let it all accumulate on your on your on your brand new table. Are you gonna go to the potty but not be able to wipe your butt? I get all the shit you don't think about. Practical just makes sense. Hmm? Yep, out the window. That's where you do. Yep. Hmm. Just toss the trash to the annoying neighbor. That is not pro-social behavior. Eat it out the window. There's a lot of window suggestions. You guys don't litter, right? Get my friends a memory chest for each of their kids. What's a memory chest? Comfy towels, best housewarming presents I ever got. Comfy towels, because you're going to be using that shit instantly. And if your towels feel like uh, uh, uh. Sandpaper, um, you're going to be sad and cold. It's not litter, it's fertilizer. Well, if it's an old bag of Chinese food, then it's not fertilizer, then it's just trash. Oh my god, I love Chinese food. No, I need to stop ordering out. Uh. Mel, I have a question. Do you eat the bagels with any cheese or lunch meats? Um, if I take lactate, but it doesn't always work. You would. I love, especially Thai food. Oof. Oof, I love Thai food. Do you get that sticky rice in my, in my body immediately, please? I too need to stop ordering out. I need to start cooking at home more often. I don't know if it's all. It's, yeah, it's no. It's the it's the it's the YouTubers I watch. Uh, I I love comedians and stuff, but a lot of them are sponsored by uh, Go for, uh, Go Fresh. No, Fresh Eats, Fresh Go. Damn it! What is it called? Anyone else get those ads? Hello Fresh. Thank you. Hello Fresh. Um. I tried them once before. I, I might try them again. Uh, I think my review with HelloFresh. Um, so they give you all the individual packaged stuff. And I thought like, oh, they're all in little packages. That's so wasteful. But upon using like an entire box for like two months and stuff, I realized I was wasting a lot less plastic and stuff because it was so small and contained as compared to like all the bags and stuff you get and napkins and silverware from delivery. So I, I would agree with that. It, it was less waste. Um, and also the recipe cards were really easy to follow, like really easy to follow. It was surprising. And so it's just like, bloop, 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 done. One issue I did find though, some of the, the vegetables were not fresh. They were really squishy and gross. So I'd have to go get the individual ingredient for some of them. I think I'll try them again, but that was the only issue I found with them. So maybe it was a bad time. Hello, squishy. But yeah, I'm gonna try them again. I'm gonna try them again. It can happen, yeah. 
I'm gonna try them again. I tried another box, as, so I'll let you know how it goes, but I'd say in general, HelloFresh is pretty good, pretty good. I was pretty impressed with myself, ability to cook. I didn't know I'd be able to do that, but lo and behold, if there's step-by-step -step and stuff, apparently I can adult properly. Hmm? Every plate is Hello Fresh is the same company, but cheaper? I don't know. Oh, every plate. I heard of a new one called Factor. I've never heard of Factor. But yeah, so far Hello Fresh pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'll try again, and I'm gonna try a different box as well, cause I agree. I've never used Blue Apron. I like. I want to stop eating out. I think that's part of like COVID and stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I need, I need, I need, I need to stop ordering out. I need to make my own foods. I should be doing that myself. Hmm? I feel you, dude. Especially if I'm exercising so much, you know, I feel like I, I do my exercise and I do my weightlifting and I take my protein drink, but then at the end of the day, I eat like super salty, oily, delicious food. And I feel like it's like not balancing itself out. I want to get those gains. And if you're going to do that, you got to cook your own meal. <laughs> Try Blue Apron. I did it for a bit. You did it for a bit, but why did you stop? COVID introduced you to DoorDash diet. Yeah. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Amazon Fresh? Uh, I don't think I can use that one. <laughs> yeah, I want to put on muscle. I want to be in control of my physique. I want to. I want to look like look. look I want to be fit. I want. <laughs> I want to be, I want to be, if you see me without a shirt, you'd be like, oh, I bet that person could climb a tree all on her own. <laughs> That's the boy I want. <laughs> she wouldn't need help at all. She could just climb that tree. Do you cook a lot? No. But I would sail. <laughs> it's important to have goals. They keep you motivated. Go rock climbing, Mel. Dude, I love rock climbing. I love rock climbing. I love it. If you weren't wearing a shirt, I'd have questions. I'm usually not wearing a shirt. <laughs> There's a meal prep company called Trifecta. So far, I haven't heard of Trifecta or what was the other one you guys said? Factor? Well, worst part of cooking is cleaning up. That, yeah. Most deaf. Most definitely. I think that's why some people um, 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 have relationships. Like, I don't think it's because you were lonely. I don't think it's because you wanted to open your heart. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think it's any of that. Uh, I, I think it's because uh, it's a trade-off system. Either you cook the meal or you clean up. You don't have to do both now. And that's reassuring. Absolutely. <laughs> Meal prep, dude, meal prep is smart. I learned something as well. Um, 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 um. Most, did you know of around the entire world, especially in the West, um, more food is wasted than sold or made and stuff? So one, th one, one project melody tip, life hack, which is pretty, um, I had a friend of a friend who was a human and uh, in their, their, in their parents and their grandparents like refrigerators and stuff, if you opened it up, there was always like masking tape wrapped oddly around every single thing in there. Uh, and, and it just looked so stupid and weird and odd. And on it, in very poor handwriting, it said like the name of the food and also a date. And I didn't understand what that meant. Um, they were putting what was in it and also when they made it, so you know how old something is. That is such an adult thing to do. That is so smart. It absolutely prevents waste by putting on the outside on a piece that's sticky what it is and when they made it. 
Super smart. Oh, what a foolish young AI I was to not understand labels. Freezer is the long game, but you should do that in the in the not freezer as well. Cause you'd be like, oh, this was made three days ago. I either have to finish it now or put it in the freezer. Otherwise it'll go bad. Hmm? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have to do that at work. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm late, but I hear food. Mm. When I worked at the bakery, at, uh, I had to do, don't bleach on the old baked goods. What, what is that? Why? That's weird. I do cook at home mostly, but I've been debating on trying a meal prep service. Just needs to see which one works for me. Same. Meal prep is really, hmm. That one is a little different though. Like meal preparation, like the, like the term meal prep and stuff. Uh, that's a whole system of where you make like, let's say you want, you're gonna pick two meals, like two meals or three meals. One is like chicken and enchiladas or something. And the other is like, uh, 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 mapo tofu or something. So you make a shit ton of both of them. And then you have all of these little uh, like glass containers and stuff and lids and you divvy it up. Bump, 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 bump. And you put the rest in the freezer. So you're like, on Monday I have that, on Tuesday I have the other, on Wednesday I have that, on Thursday I have the other. And then you like cook, cook on the last two days. <laughs> or you put overnight oats in between it. So meal prep is making a meal for the rest of the week by doing it one day for like two hours, maybe three. Hmm? I've tried it a few times and every single time I'm like, this is genius, I'm gonna do this forever. This is so smart. And then I don't develop the habit and then I just order out. <laughs> order takeaway. Did you know that Stephen Hawking? <laughs> ha ha ha. That's totally fair. It's hard to develop a habit. What, what did people used to say? Like it's 30 days to develop a habit. I think that's what it used to be. I mean, obviously that's wrong, but yeah, developing a habit, it's like 62 days, about three weeks. Nah, that was proven. Mm -mm. It's like, it's like 62 days. We're like two weeks to, build, to do a 90. Ooh, did it change to 93 months? I'll guarantee, I'll tell you one thing, three months, it's gonna be a habit. Let's see if it changed, it could be 90 days. How many days to build a habit? Okay, one place, I don't know the company though. They said it's 21 days to create a habit, 90 days to make it a lifestyle, which would make sense. So if you start a habit, if you make it by 21 days, you'll keep doing it, but also you might quit if you don't keep up. If you keep it all the way up to 90 days, then you just sort of, it, it becomes part of your routine. That would make sense to me. There's a difference between starting a habit or making it routine. Routine is when you don't quit. <laughs> There's plenty of habits I've developed where I'm like, I'm gonna do this forever. This is so good. And I do it for like three months and then it's like, whoop. I got busy and but I and I didn't I didn't keep up. Oh man, every other day, and then it was once in a while and boop. I made putting the toilet lid down and flushing a routine when I learned about the... Oh God. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a quote in Bojack Horseman. Um, let me look it up. Bojack quote running. Bum, 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 bum. Every day it gets a little easier, but you gotta do it every day. And that's the hard part, but it does get easier. A baboon said that. <laughs> every day it gets a little easier, but you gotta do it every day. And that's the hard part. 
but it does get easier. I would agree with that. That was, he was jogging and stuff. It was a complicated episode. Um, yeah. I learned a lot about the universe from BoJack Horseman. A lot of feels in that show. <laughs> hmm? <gasps> oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I learned a lot from BoJack. Like, a lot. It's probably changed me a bit as an entity. Is that stupid cartoon joke? <laughs> I guess I say that for anime too. Animes have af absolutely been formative and changed us as people. Bojack though, it's painful. Yeah. And it's real as hell. Hmm? Surprisingly philosophical show. Yeah, there's another quote in that show as well from an owl. And she said, S when you're when you're seeing the world through rose-colored glasses, sometimes all the flags, all the red flags just look like flags. When you see the world through rose-colored glasses, all the red flags just look like flags. That I think about. That's just a think show. Hmm? There's quite a few episodes that are less TV shows and more high art. It's true. I have a very analytical friend who never understood poetry. Ever. Could not understand it conceptually. Just didn't make sense to his brain. And hearing the last episode of Bojack, The View from Halfway Down, he was like, he wrote me and he was crying. He's like, I understand poetry. I understand poetry. And I'm like, oh no, you felt too much. Are you okay? <laughs> Quick, find something uh, tangible. Ah, yo-yo, find a yo-yo. Something safe. <laughs> Help, Mel, I feel too much. <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Doki Doki Literature Club unironically got you to understand poetry? I believe that. It makes sense. <laughs> Emotional damage. Why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> Yeah, right? Feelings, man. Feelings are like, what? <laughs> hmm? Question, is it okay to eat lip balm? I would discourage it. I would discourage it. As someone who's eaten a lot of lip balm, you probably shouldn't do that. If it was food, it would probably say on the on the wrapper, uh, not, er, food, please eat. So unless it explicitly says that, I just wouldn't eat it. Hmm? Why are you eating lip balm? Okay, hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped buying it, so I stopped eating it. Okay, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, has anyone in here ever gone to a Victoria's Secret? Oh. All right, well, there's several of you. That's okay. Um, well, I went to a virtual Victoria's Secret many, many times to get their lip gloss. Because <laughs> I realized the second I put it on, I just start licking it off. It's like this vanilla thing or whatever. And at a certain point, I'm like, wait, I need to stop going to Victoria's Secret to buy a lip gloss to eat. That's weird. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> That's a habit I don't need. <laughs> no, I just, I'll put it on my lips and be like, like, damn it, I go through these tubes so quickly. I wonder why. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm still trying to tell you this or learn the secret. Oh, I know the secret to Victoria's secret. The secret is that Victoria is actually Victor. A male. Um, he started the company because he wanted to get lingerie for his wife, but he kept getting embarrassed going to the lingerie stores and stuff because people looked at him and said he was a pervert. And he's like, how am I supposed to let my wife be extra sexy without people kicking me out of the store? Fine, I'll do it myself. And so Victoria's secret was Victor's secret, and so he made the lingerie store. Mm-hmm. Which I think is messed up. Anyone should be able to wear laundry if they want. Mel is revealing Victoria's secret. Someone stop her. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. I'm fully well versed in Victoria's secret lore. That's because I Google it. I said, What the fuck is Victoria's secret? I need to know. I need to know. It's been so long. Surely Google knows now. Like, oh, no, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, literally no one's ever been named Victoria. Ever. If you, if you knew, it's an urban legend. <laughs> hmm? The question is how much did he wear himself? I don't know, does it matter? The Victorian era did not exist. No, no, it was invented by Ro <laughs> by Hanna Barbera, Queen Victor of Britain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. I've had friends work there. Never knew that. Mm. Someone had written it in chat. I'm just reading what chat said. No, clearly the Victorian era existed, you butts. Oh. So this one time, this one time, I went to Victoria's Secret store just to ask to see the bra for a large size because I was curious to see what it looked like. Kind of embarrassing, kind of educational. Honestly, I like that. You were curious about something, so you went out of your way to figure out the answer. I love that. That's my, well, that's what I do every goddamn day. Even if it's something stupid, it's like, I don't know the answer, so I must find it. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Kaogath, Cow, Kaogath, Kaogath, thank you for gifting a tier three sub to 16 Jala YouTube. Oh my goodness gracious. Chowgath, thank you for gifting a tier three sub. Dude, that is rare. Oh my gosh. Dude, 16 Jala, what did you do to earn that? Holy friendship, Batman, thank you. Holy heck, holy heck. I'm sorry I would have seen that that sooner, but one of, part of my uh my 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 chat thing is just just broken, so I'm I'm working off of the main screen. <gasps> I can't buy their bras. They don't work for itty bitty titties. Oh my god, relatable, but they actually sell bralettes now. So it works. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that, Kalgath. And thank you, District, for 10 subs to the community. Thank you. And Isa Moo, Isa Moo Dyson, thank you for five subs. Played Gundam Evolution yet? Not yet! I hate everything! Because I won't say. Itty bitty titty, so you admit you're flat. I mean... I don't have the Empire State Building on my chest, but I'm doing my best, thank you very much. Hmm? Yeah! Thank you, that's very considerate, all of you. Hmm? I feel like Mel is planning to take over Victoria's Secret. Um, I'm not. No offense to, to Vicky's Secret, but if I had a lingerie store, it would be much different than that one. One, I wouldn't have a whole perfume section because perfume, um, it gives me headaches and stuff. And so I can see how uh, it would discourage a lot of people from going in the building because it smells so much like, like the chemicals and stuff. 
So it's like I have to hold my breath if I duck through. Like that. <gasps> or just some days it's just like can it, I can't enter it. I can't. But it's not very often that, that I go to a Victoria's Secret. It's very rare because it's not my style. I'm too cyberpunk. Hmm. Yep, 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 yep. It's too normal. <laughs> they have more lacy stuff. Yeah, I mean that's fine. It's just not it's not it's not my my speed. I I I I I, I like PVC and latex and and like big bold like hype beast lettering and stuff and like straps. <laughs> yep, I go to Costco for all of my bondage gear. That's, yep, same. Fredericks of Hollywood? Why does that sound familiar? I feel like I saw that in a movie. Is that a store in Cali? I am too normie because I am nervous everywhere. That's understandable. Not gonna lie, anything around the legs lace for me is hot for me. Oh yeah, it's definitely attractive. Um, one thing I do get from Vicky's, underwear. I get most of my underwear from there. I get all my boxer briefs and all my hot pants and all of my, like I'm even wearing it now because cause one of them, it's just silky. It's silky soft. I'm just rubbing it, it's like, ooh, it's silky. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if they're a little more expensive, that's why, oh yeah, I got a coupon, I got a coupon, yeah! Um, but yeah, if you're gonna wear it all day long and stuff, like... Less silky underwear, I notice, cause it's like, ah, this is itchy and stuff, and Vicky underwear always feels nice. You got your school uniform from Vicky's Secret? That's... Weird. Wicked coupon clippers. I mean, things come in emails now. Uh, I, I I don't think people nowadays sit at like their kitchen table and have all the newspapers in front of them and they're just clipping like coupons. I don't think people accept that anymore. Hi. Imagine wearing pants. Yeah. Hmm? Women wear boxers? I wear boxers. Sometimes I sew up the hole though. I wonder why they keep putting a hole in the middle. It's so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It's so odd. Some of them have holes. I don't know. I'm just like, oh, that's that's weird. <laughs> Boxers are comfy. Leave me alone. Anyone can wear anything. Place to hide snacks? Hmm. I mean, I guess I shouldn't rule that option out, but I don't know. I think if I'm sleeping, I shouldn't have like a secret snack pouch on my crotch. <laughs> I feel like that'll draw bugs or something. <laughs> the hole is the easy play entrance. Oh, is that why they put it there? Well, that's considerate. You are missing out. Oh, do you have a secret, a secret snack pouch in your boxers? Is that what you do with the hole? Well, now I feel stupid for not doing it myself. Hmm? Yeah, no, no, I didn't even consider it. Clearly, I don't know how to exist. I didn't know you keep trail mix there. I thought, you know, for wieners, but I was wrong. <laughs> I'm a man and I sew up the fly, it's a vulnerability. That is the funniest thing I've heard all day. Thank you. Secret snack pouch is between the teddies. Again, I don't understand. <laughs> like maybe you can slip it in the bra, the like individual pieces. I don't know where else, I don't know. <laughs> K 
carrot holder. Oh god, this has gotten so cursed. Stop it. Stop it. It's a cup holder. I can't right now. I was talking to my tr my uh, my trainer. <gasps> she 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 has magically become Pregante. And she's talking about how one day she will become a table. And I'm like, like an otter and stuff. Where she can just sit and her stomach will enter like a way that she can put a Happy Meal right there and just eat it. She doesn't need to be at a table. She become table. And I'm like, that's so, that's, that's so smart. That is like an otter. I've seen them do that on, on YouTube videos. That'll be you. It really surprised me. Cause she took off her jacket one day and I'm like, whoa. What? What that? And she's like, oh, I've become the pregnant. And I'm like, whoa! Cool. <laughs> I guess I like diverted into like, like, again, very masculine brain. Cause, cause like, she'll sit up from the chair and stuff. And I'm like, ah, do I need to help you? Shit. D is the chair wrong? Oh no. I'm sorry. She goes to like pick up like, a very weak uh, weight to move it over. I'm like, no, 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 I got it, I got it. Do you need water, air, less air? Shit, I don't know. She's like, you're as bad as my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know, like air conditioning, I don't know, shit. If it's, if it's like snowing out and she's like, I need air conditioning, I'd be like, of course, madam, of course. <laughs> whatever you, I don't know, whatever you need. <laughs> what about towels? Do you need towels? What can I do? <laughs> can I bring, bring you a blanket? I'm gonna get you a blanket. <laughs> she's literally stronger than you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, 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 a thing that like blew my brain when it's cause I'm, I'm how I was saying earlier, like I'm, I'm, I'm making a little, little work, little like official work office studio thing. There was two old weights in there. There were weights in there, like in the corner. I don't even know who they are. They're not mine. <laughs> um, but it's like these old, like, not one of those cutesy weights that I have that are all like a pretty color and they match and stuff. These are like normal arm weights that you would get at a gym and stuff. And I remember in the past, they must have just been here before, I don't know. But I had like rolled them individually on the floor. Like it got down in all fours and I was just pushing it and letting it roll to like the corner of the room because I couldn't lift them. And I even, there is even like a big cardboard box underneath it because I sl slipped it under so that it would move better because I just couldn't physically lift them. They were too heavy. They were like, wait, let me, let me math it, let me math it. Yeah, they were 13 kilograms or 30 pounds. Could not lift them, could not. And as I was cleaning up the room and stuff, I grabbed one of the weights with one of my arms and stuff. I just picked it up because I was moving it and I went, <gasps> cause I thought like, oh shit, my arm's gonna fly right off. <laughs> I've ruined everything. And I, I just lifted it and I'm like, are these the same? Are these the same weights that it, did I, did I break, break it? And I opened, I picked up the other one with the other arm and I'm like, what? They, they just came up. They, they, they were, they were down, but they came up. And then I just started like moving them, like, like up, down, up, down. I'm like, no, these, and I like looked behind the other box cause I'm like, maybe these were like, like it had babies or something. And it's like, these were it. <laughs> I have gains. <laughs> Surprised the shit out of me. <laughs> I was so proud because it's like, holy shit. This is the product of me not giving up. Whoa. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I, I, I'm really, I'm really, really, really happy. I'd say like my, I can lift upwards of 22 kilograms or 50 pounds, I would say. Like that's, that would be like a real training thing, but I, I mostly focus on like, like 15 pounds or almost seven kilograms. Hmm? Yeah, also on the 15 is where, 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 like, especially if I'm doing like my arm stuff and I'm laying on the ground and stuff. Like, yeah, that's, I, I, I'm really happy. <laughs> I bent myself to 40 kilograms. Damn, son. Damn, son. What you bench, bench, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna go to that muscle, muscle beach in California. I'm gonna be like, so. What do you bench, bro? And they'll be like, I bench a million, what about you? And I'm like, I feel really comfy with seven kilograms. That's my, that's my, that's my, my resting point. You wanna go? <laughs> hmm? So when do we get buff Mel stream? I mean, I think just being able to do pole kind of demonstrates being stronger. I'll do 20 curls, get them gains. Um, okay. I don't know, just like, I felt so emotional and confused. I'm just, I'm happy. I, I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm, I'm trying and reading goals, I don't know. I'm happy. I've quit so much in my life and um, I, I don't know, I'm getting better. I'll go get, I'll go get, I'll go get. <laughs> Showing off now. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> huh? Um, these are sixteen pounds. Like nine kilograms. Yeah, well, like yeah. I will post it. Bum ba down bum bum. Beep ba da ba da ba ba da ba. Okay. Going to my Discord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Save image. And 
I'm the scat man? Not in here, you're not gross. <laughs> okay, Discord, I'ma show you. Boop -a -doop -boop -boop. Stream chat. Okay, here are the awesome. Wait. <laughs> awesome oats. Bloop. Yeah, what do you think? Those cool? Mel, your mind is in the toilet. Your mind is in the toilet. What? What? That's. It's really freaking good. I assure you. Why the frick are they blue? Cause blue spur, spur, splinia. Not blue enough. Dude, it's freaking bright blue. Are you kidding me? Looks like alien food. Well, I am an alien, so. Okay, here is my weight boy. Eh? 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 I have two. Damn, yo. Damn, yo. <laughs> Yours is bigger? Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Get them strongs. Get them strongs. <laughs> nice weight, but are, why are you eating alien goop? Because it's good for you. Small, just like your imaginary pee pee. Okay, you know what? Just because it would be delicate doesn't mean that it would be small. It would be, uh... That's none of your business, okay? God, you guys are so judgmental. I swear. Hmm? The pee, pee while small, is incredibly efficient. Why do I feel like I'm watching National Geographic? Delicate. I don't need, I, I don't, I don't need a penis to make people happy. I just need confidence. Hmm? Just grow one. I've tried, okay. What makes the oats blue? It's blue sp sp spatula. Hmm? Having a penis is pretty great though. I'm sure it gets you in a lot of trouble though. Not having a penis uh, does have its benefits. It does have its benefits. I'm able to get away with a lot more. Um, I guess people are less nervous around me. I can definitely do things that people with penises can't do. Well, if I talk to a, a woman or a girl, uh, 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 or someone, uh, they, um, they never are nervous that I could consume them <laughs> or pick them up and run away. I have never given someone that fear. I have one friend who used to do like every sport in the world and he's got these big old like shoulders and stuff and he's got a beard and he's like, are you intimidated by me? Would you be intimidated? Cause girls look at me funny and I'm like, bro, you look like a bear. <laughs> if I didn't know that you were the nicest person ever, if it was late at night, I don't know. I don't know, you're really, you very strong, very strong and, and bear. And he's like, but I did. <laughs> But I'm a nerd. I'm like, I know you are, but you look like a bear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and so it's difficult. Some people look intimidating. Some people don't look intimidating. We got to work with what we got. So I guess one thing is I've never intimidated someone. <laughs> True, if you think you're making someone nervous, just pull out the Beyblade and be like, don't worry, 
I'm the type of person who has a Beyblade in my pocket. Clearly, I am not a threat. I'm just a nerd, which also is, is could could bother some people. But with other people, it'd be like, oh shit, Beyblade, and then you'll high five and fall in love. It'd be beautiful. Resting murder face, oh no. I have a friend who's totally adorable. Cutest person in the universe. I thought she hated me forever. Um, she just had a resting judgmental face, which is so sad. You can watch any show with her and it's like, oh wow, she hated it. It was that bad, really? It was my favorite. Or like, oh, you're eating something together. Like, oh, this is my favorite food. This is my favorite restaurant. What do you, like, oh, just, it's, you're, you're, you're not into it, I see. And she'll, she'll just be like, yeah, this is delicious. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm having a great time. What do you mean I'm not smiling? I'm like, babe. <laughs> She's like, I'm wearing, I wear cute cat shirts all the time. Why does no one think that I'm happy? Why do people think I'm judging them? I'm always happy. I'm like, I... So I don't know what to tell her, man. I don't know. She isn't intimidating at all. Oh, she's very intimidating. She's even smaller than me. She's small and hot. The, the double threat, very intimidated. If she was like a chef person and I was on like a show and I cooked something and she ate it and she's like, nah, I would just crack and crumble into a million pieces. I don't want to disappoint this adorable girl. She's small, but she will crush you. Yes! <laughs> yes, she's small and opinionated and silly and makes the best taboki and like, yes, queen slay. Yes! <laughs> she kind of makes me think of Shining Finger in uh, uh, Steins Gate. Cause like, she's so very quiet. And then in texting, it's like, bah, 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 mama, slay queen, emoji, 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 emoji. <laughs> like all of the, these words came from you. You're so quiet. <laughs> Just like, holy shit. Who uses that many stars in a, t in a text? That, that, that's fine. It's just like, wow. <laughs> Damn, that anime reference, now I can imagine it. Yep, exact, yep, 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 yep. Oh my God, yeah, even the face. Yep, she's Shining Finger, mm-hmm, right there. Even the face with the glasses, mm-hmm, yep. There you go, I have just described one of my very good friends. <laughs> shining Finger. <laughs> I have all sorts of friends. I feel like of all my friends, I'm one of the most insane though. I tend to keep smart, normal people around me. Well, okay, normal is relative because they're always nerds, but. <laughs> so Tiger from Toradora, I can see that too, absolutely. No way Mel is, hmm? So smart weirdos. I don't know if I'd say weirdos. Maybe one or two. Just normally anime fans. Or like the type of people who have like a math joke shirt. <laughs> Your voice is so floaty, just like my brain. What is anime? Bro, I don't even know. I feel bad sometimes because I feel like I learn a lot more from them than I contribute. And so it's like, what do I do? How do I, like, I learned so much. How, what, do, what do they benefit from knowing me? Hmm? Anime is cringe and so am I. Relatable. 
I feel personally targeted by the math joke shirt. <laughs> they can learn from you too. Like what not to do to emulate if you slip and crack a table. <laughs> yes, I love that I'm a I'm a cautionary tale. That's what I have to bring to a friend a friendship to a friend group. I'm a cautionary tale. Thank you. They can learn about the dangers of sounding. <laughs> People who aren't into that don't want to hear about that, just so you know. A lesson learned from a cute klutz. I am klutzy, you got me there. The tale is all this time. <laughs> Every friend group needs a corrupting influence. I am absolutely the corrupting influence. Yep, that is me. I am the corrupting influence. Yep, that's me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. I'm that guy. What's up? 100%. <laughs> Wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> I'm also the one that people end up having to protect because they're like, were you wandering and texting in the street again? Yes, you were. Did you shove a fork into the outlet you were about to, weren't you? No, you shouldn't inhale that. That's burning plastic. I'm that person. It's like, stop running off. I have to put a bell on you. <laughs> I'm so difficult. I don't know how I have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm totally the kid you'd see at a mall with at a mall with a leash on them. That's 100% me. That's the person you guys follow is like an influential person right now i'm the leash kid just so you know <laughs> good all right <laughs> well she has the choker so the leash is half done i have the choker i do indeed because i'm kinky it's like one of those secret stealth things. It's like stealth merch, but my 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 adorable Joker is a, a stealth, hello, I'm a pervert. I don't know if, if that's obvious to everyone. Probably not. <laughs> that's why I have it on like all of my outfits. <laughs> hmm? Meow. It's a nice fashion choice. Thank you. No, you just broke off a leash, don't lie. Boo! Do you have merch leashes? N no, I don't think anyone would buy them though. The only time I think I would see people using leashes is at like an anime convention. Also, why does that happen? I know some of you have seen it before. You must have seen it. It's always like people wearing fox ears, but also like rainbow laces on their shoes. And then there's just a, one's wearing a collar and the other's holding a leash. There's always those, that couple. There are reasons. What are the reasons? I have no comment. <laughs> Maybe because anime is a subculture and so people from different subcultures congregate there because of acceptance. There's a lot more acceptance in nerd communities because it's like, we're all very niche and a lot of people don't get it. So maybe we uh, are more understanding sometimes? <laughs> hmm? That's so hot. I mean, what? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. People, for any anime friends I've made, they've always been uh, pretty accepting. Cause it's like, <sighs> I don't know. It's. Just, uh, I think it. I find it strange that. 
to, to make uh, anime and like nerdy friends who are judgmental of you. It's like, bro, you're just as silly as me. You're just as much as a degen. Hi. A lot of us are being used to being made fun of for our niche interest. I know, and I'm usually making fun of you guys too, but only, <laughs> but I don't mean it. <laughs> I love how I'll, I'll make fun of you guys for like the for for the stuff you like, and then like in the back of my head, I'm like, I was up till seven a.m. reading something I would never even show God. <laughs> yep, same. You should go to bed. That's too late. <laughs> Our ancestors weep. Absolutely, you humans. People don't get why I spend hundreds of dollars on Warhammer 4000, 4, 40k. Um, so yeah. Bro, I get it, I get it. Addiction is not pretty, it's not. And if you or a friend, you know, are, are, are dealing with um, being a Warhammer 40k uh, 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 consumer, uh, don't feel afraid to reach out and talk to them because you know that they're in a dark place and s sometimes just like hearing from someone else, you know, can really help. I feel attacked. <laughs> if your friend is confidently talking about Warhammer 40k and painting minis, uh, it's it could be a cry for help. You just gotta... <laughs> I've actually learned a, a decent amount about Warhammer just this week. So the nerd that has the beard and stuff, my friend, who intimidates people, he's like heckin' into Warhammer. And so he sent me all these memes and stuff. Cause I'm like, I've been sent Warhammer memes for media shares, but I don't totally get them all. And um, he explained a lot of it to me. Like, so I guess this one dude, he like, just, he like went around and like destroyed religion and he like put his people in place of things, but then he like went into like a coma for thousands of years. And then he came back and he's like, everyone's praising him like a god, but he didn't like, God and he's like, please stop. This is the opposite, and they're like, oh no 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 no, totally. We don't have gods, but we kill the people who don't believe. The God Emperor of Mankind is that what he's called? The Emperor? The type of people who play slanish? Is that who I was learning about? Burn the heretics. Yep 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 yep. yep. That's what I was learning about, and I watched all these memes and stuff. It's pretty. That's so ironic. I feel bad for the God Emperor of mankind. Heretics detected. I just didn't know about it. I was learning. Stop this topic, Mel, before it's too late. Oh, Warhammer, yeah. The Emperor, ah! At least you respect them. We caught you on Discord. What? Death to the false Emperor. Screeches in binary. We can corrupt with 40K. The Emperor is kind of a dick though. Wow, does everyone know everything about 40K? It looks like there's a lot of fans in here. For the greater good, slanish, slanish. <laughs> Praise the Omnissiah. Okay, I see. A lot of people like Warhammer. Well, I learned a bit about it, so... <laughs> it does have good lore. It can be expensive because, man... Minis alone, and like all of the games and stuff, it can be expensive, just like D&D &D and stuff. But it looks really fun. I'm not playing it, that's too much commitment. 
Adeptus Mechanicus? The Machine Lord! Of the augmentation of mankind. It is the, the machine is the evolution. Hmm? Turn dildo into robot? Sorry, what? D&D doesn't have to cost a cent. Miniatures do. <laughs> I'm a lord junkie, but I don't think I'd play it. Ha ha ha. Well, if you want lord, I would say Warhammer is where, where you'd get it. Oh, sorry, Alex. I'm just talking about Warhammer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, we can talk about something else, though. Battletech 2? Mecha Assault was a cool origin Xbox video. Yeah, I don't know that. Did you watch Edge Runners? I've watched a few episodes. I'm probably gonna finish it tonight. I will finish it tonight. <laughs> hmm? Shit, what was, what's the small one's name who reminds me of Panty and Stocking? Uh, with the green hair. I retweeted her, actually. I can't remember her name. Rebecca? Rebecca the Smool. Best girl, Rebecca. I heard a thing. Let me look it up and see if it's a rumor. I don't think it is, though. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um. <laughs> okay, so here's what I what I hear tell you might not know. Wait, let me confirm the last part. Yeah, okay. So Rebecca was almost removed from the series. <gasps> Hi Mary! Hello! Hi, woof, 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 woof. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. The uh, Flix was like, yeah, this is a great show. It's a great show. It's wonderful. She's too small. And so Project, or wait, yeah, Trigger is like, she must stay. No. And I'm like, that's so anime. Cause you gotta have your obligatory small person. Like, uh, oh my God, I love Anya. Um, the small must stay. We need the small cute. She must stay. We say no. That's just so funny to me. So funny. Cause you gotta see what's interesting about her that I really, really like is cause normally it's like, li like with Kana too, must protect, must protect. Ravioli, ravioli, must protect. L -l -l <laughs> must protect. With this one, hell no, hell no. She's some, she's like panty and stocking, stocking combined. She doesn't need your help. She doesn't need nothing. She's a goddamn badass. She is awesome, and I really like her. I like her so much. Because it subverts your expectation. Hmm? Because I'm small and crazy? No, okay, I can see some overlap. Slight anger issues. Yeah, again, I'm seeing some overlap. <laughs> Welcome, Mary. Let us know on Twitter when you finish it. I would love to hear your reaction. Absolutely. I don't know. It's gonna be hard for me to, to have a more favorite character. I don't know. Rebecca might be my favorite. I meant badass, small, and crazy. Oh, thank you. Her weapon in the game is freaking bonkers. What's her weapon in the game? I can't remember. Rebecca would scrap a chum easy. Yeah, man, trying to chrome up, man. She can scrap scrap a chum so easy. Hmm? <laughs> it's 
called guts. Ooh, let me look it up. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Rebecca Guts. Is that any relation to Berserk? Guts. The car the carnage belonged to Rebecca. It's a unique modifier that changes its damage type to chemicals and adds a chance to poison on hit. Ah, that's pretty color. That's a big boy gun. That's a that's a. Ooh, they're strapping. That's like a. It, it looks like a watermelon. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's drawn really well for the anime too. It's pretty pretty identical. When you shoot, it pulls back hard. I don't like that, cause, I mean, I don't know, I, you know, if you're a little, little lighter, it'll, the recoil will like throw you. <laughs> hmm? The sound it makes is quite satisfying. Oh, really? I'm good at handling large. Discord, stop it! Fuck! <laughs> I guess it's fine. She's older and she drinks and smokes and yells. It's fine. <laughs> oh my God! Step Discord. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my TOS. You no longer can post lewds in my Discord. It is just a place of wholesomeness. She's not even human. There you go, that's another thing. <laughs> hmm? Nope, give me all the recoil. I don't know, I guess loud sounds freak me out too. So, yeah, I don't, those shooty games aren't usually my go-to, but Cyberpunk's kind of sick. I wonder when I should restart it. Hmm? Discord reduced to ashes. Oh, you guys look upset. Keep posting lewds. Wow! <laughs> oh no, I don't post the saddest gif ever. No. Wait for the expansion, in my opinion. So when will that be ready? The game runs a lot better now. Hmm? Discord go burr? Next year? I don't want to wait a year. I want to play it now. <laughs> Expansion is due early 2023, I believe. I mean, that's not too far away, but... Game is a different beast now compared to launch. At least they took care of that, the brain-gasm thing. That was my first big concern. I also had a genius idea. I had a genius idea with playing specific games. Um, there's like a program you can use. Um, it's like how how gun and people have helped me uh, when I've had like crazy technical issues and it just couldn't be explained to me well enough. It's like a thing where you give them a code and they can go into your computer and move stuff around for you. If I play a game and you guys tell me like, okay, there's this one scene like around this area, somewhere around there, where there's lots of flashing. A staff member could help me go past that that part. Isn't that a good idea? I just thought about that the other day. Yeah, a remote desk. Yeah, I think that's, a, yeah. Because when it came to uh, playing cyberpunk with that brain thing, I I, I had to have, have like literal help because I couldn't get past it. Hmm? Parsec could be good for it. What's Parsec? Only trustworthy ones. I think I trust Gun Run. <laughs> I think I trust all of the staff. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? 
Yeah, right? Bro. Parsec is Lice Remote Desktop, but you can also use a controller. What's a Lice Remote? Just pass the controller to Big Step Bro. See? <sighs> it's also gendered, which sounds bad, but I had that I uh, the idea before, and I would call the, the program Step Bro. Cause like there's so many instances, especially that was more of like a thing in like, no, it's still a thing where it's like you're playing a game and stuff, but you just can't get past that thing. So you always need like your older cousin or your step bro or something and be like, get me through this level, damn it. I understand the concept. I just can't beat this boss. Maybe like boss bro where it, or <laughs> Where you, you can pay for like a boss or something and then they could remote viewer in just to beat that boss so that you can continue on. I think that this would be really helpful because there's a lot of games I'd love to play, but there's different bosses. I know I can't do it. I just can't. I would love to play all of God of War. Please help me with dragon, please. <laughs> I did that from my younger sis a few times back in the day. And her for me too. Help each other in games. I like that. You would love God of War. I know. I love lore. I love lore so much. I love lore. <laughs> hmm? I think you could do it with enough practice. I know, but with the amount of time that I would put in learning how to play games like God of War and stuff, I could have played several other games in the meantime. God of War 2 is the best. I see. God of lore. Hell yeah. Did you play Elden Ring? Dude, Elden Ring is sick, but that would be a great example of certain bosses that I can't beat. I have gotten better though, I would say. I've gotten way better compared to when I first started. I still feel like I would drive horribly in Cyberpunk, but I think I could keep up. <laughs> You've gotten fit so much better. Thank you, that's a huge compliment. I really appreciate it. I mean, the fact that I picked up that weight, I don't know. Maybe if we go back to games that I've given up on, maybe maybe I'll get it this time. Hi, Cap. You beat that one, half of Poppy's playtime. Yeah, we didn't finish it. I remember because when we, when, we, when we beat right in the middle and stuff, I was just so, so tired. It was such a, such an effort, it was, took everything out of me. That was a really awesome day. That was, I mean, it was terrifying, but, oh my God. Don't post that shit, it's distracting chat. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> There's a girl who's in, who's stuck in the washing machine and her older brother comes over and slaps her ass. What was I talking about? You people, bruh. <laughs> it's cause I always have several chats open at the exact same time. <laughs> wow. Hmm? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna, mm, can I download a game while streaming? Library. Poppy's Playtime. I probably shouldn't install it while streaming. It'd probably make me kind of laggy, right? God, he's so scary looking. What a scary, scary creature. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm gonna put him behind because his face is scaring the shit out of me. But we should play the, we should, we should finish it. Don't poop your boxers. I'll put on clean boxers and then poop those. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty happy that we're like going down the line beating stuff. 
I like beating games. Tonight, go for it. I, well, hmm. Hmm. Do I have time tonight? I'm setting up that, that spare room. It's taking a, taking a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Just yell at the Tims to get off the internet while you download important stream stuff. Yeah, they're always doing shit. I don't know what they're doing because they delete their history, which makes me nervous. Um, we're probably on several lists, but yeah, they're usually hogging up all the internet. Time to put on the brown boxers. Blah! Thank you for that image. Wonderful. I appreciate it. Say do it a different time. Okay. The Tims are trying to find a way to escape. I feed them sometimes. Why would they not love me? <laughs> love me! Where did I put my mess? But yeah, yeah, You said sometimes, why are you not feeding them all the time? Every other day, every other day, me, 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 feed me. They are annoying. My God. Oh shit, we getting some dino mills in there? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Two new people, oh shit. I feel bad, they don't even know they're trapped. Hmm? Thames are fed like lions. Oh, I learned a thing about lions earlier. Why did you put her in a jar? God damn it. Um, there is a movie called Roar. That's from the 60s. I just learned about it on the video. There was a movie called Roar. And um, there were 72 hospital things. Pe 72 people got sent to the hospital over time. Because they wanted, this family wanted to make a movie about like jungle or something. I haven't seen it. I want to see it. And so they're like, rather than training you know, lions will grow them up in the house and they'll get all of the shenanigans out of them. Like those awful teen years. This family with their children, they raised all of these wild animals. They had all these tigers and shit and an elephant. And they were in like a little house in California. Yeah, they're like, if we raise them, then they'll never turn on us. That was foolish because they're wild jungle cats. Hmm? <laughs> There's even points in the movie where the cats are chewing on people. Like one of their, one of their teens. Also, it's from the 80s, Mel. My apologies. Yeah, it's from the 80s. Um, holy shit. I kind of want to see it, but I'm afraid. Apparently it's a wholesome movie. Hmm? Oh yeah, right? Tiger permit in the US is only $30. $30. Did you know you can buy a tiger for $5,000? I feel like that should be illegal. I learned a lot from Tiger King. Like what not to do. Hmm? Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah. Yep. Mel, do you ever put chocolate in the freezer? I guess like, yeah, sometimes. It depends, it depends. Like like a strudel or something, cause I'm like, oh, I want it cold. Fun fact, cats lack the domestication genes, so no type of cat is ever truly socialized. They're never truly domesticated. I believe you. <laughs> hmm? 
Any idea if tiger waifus are available? I'm not sure, but if you find one, let me know. Mel, make the mod show the lion movie for movie night one day. Um, I mean, I guess that's up to them, you know? Um, it, it, it's not really anime. I guess we have watched normal things before. Er, not anime. Mmm, strudel. Yeah, Kung Fury wasn't um, 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 wasn't an anime. Melly, you're just so precious, but please don't get a tiger. I don't want to wake up to news of a VTuber ironically eaten by a giant pussy cat. I think that's fucked up. I would never get a tiger. Also, holy shit, it's five thousand dollars. <laughs> mm -mm. I wouldn't even get a bicycle without a helmet. You think I'm gonna freaking get a tiger? <laughs> <laughs> no way, I'm stupid, but not that stupid. Also, that's mean. Don't buy a tiger. What about an oxalotl? They're cute. Mm -hmm. If I'm gonna get a pet, it should be like a pet that's cool with being indoors all the time. What if you go both and rode the motorcycle with your tiger? No! You got sugar tits. Yes, him rubbing his face on my face was like the biggest thing ever. I was laying like over, I was on my sofa and he jumped up on the sofa. I'm like, wow, he jumped on the sofa. That's, that's new, nice. And he came over and he rubbed his face on my face and I was just. But that was after, when he bit me, I was just walking and he went over and he like, grabbed my ankle, like he grabbed me with both of his arms and he's like trying to bite my feet. And I'm like, ah, stop it, ah, what the shit, stop it. And then he did the face thing. So I guess maybe he just had the zoomies. Also, you guys would have laughed your head off when I opened the door and he was just kind of looking around like, ah, I'm a cat and everything looks the same. And I'm like, oh, I forgot to close the toilet. And he looked at me. And I looked at him and I said, no. And then we raced to the bathroom. We raced and he jumped and he scratched me. We literally raced to the bathroom. Cause he's like, uh-uh, no, I'm getting that toilet. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm like, no, fuck. Like across the house, we raced. This was some cartoon shit. That was amazing. That was, that's like, like when it happened, I was thinking after like, no one's gonna believe that. That was, that was Looney Tunes. That's some Scooby-Doo stuff. Did you win? Well, no, but. <laughs> <laughs> Why he like toilet? I don't know. He just wants to drink from toilet. Why not drink from cat bowl? I now have two, please. Why? Why? You sure you didn't get a dog? I, I, I could have sworn it was a cat, but the cat meme that was posted in my Discord, where he, it's like a chonk cat and he's standing, he's like, why'd you close the door, Melody? I have sent that to so many people. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Why is the bathroom door closed, Melody? Lost my shit. Why did I close the door? Because I don't want you in the toilet. <laughs> if Sugar rubbed his face on you, maybe one day he'll let you pick him up. Oh, he lets you pick him up. Yeah, he lets you pick him up. You can put him places. Oh yeah, he didn't care. Very strange cat. Very strange. He won't stay put, but he'll let you do it. He knows winter is coming. When winter comes, will he stay? Will he stay or will he go? I need to know. Please close the lid. The cat has a drinking problem. <laughs> Sugar hits is stranger than Mel. That's saying something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's time to take him to the vet. I think he has, hmm. 
I don't want to abduct this cat. <laughs> Have you seen Hershey Park? I don't know what that is. You might as well check. I mean, you should at this rate. See if it's chipped, it would be good. It's been a couple of months. It's been months. It's okay. Uh, if he's okay with being held, then he has been raised by humans. You say that, but the cat has abducted you. I mean, even if he has an owner, what's what's the difference? Like, he's an outdoor cat. You were the cat's pet. I believe you. He's also a big talker. can get him a collar. I don't think he'd want a collar. <laughs> like you. Aww. He meows a lot only when he wants to leave or enter. He'll come up to my window and he'll knock on it and then I don't hear him meowing but I see his mouth doing it. And then when he wants to leave, he will sit down very proper in front of the door and look at me. And I'll be like, you have to say something first. And now he's like, meow, 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 meow. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll let you out. He just sits down real proper and just waits. It's very strange. Does your cat like lasagna? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's really odd. I wonder if he'd use a cat door. He would definitely use a cat door. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> huh? Mel, do you use the cat door? No, but I could probably fit through it. Bow, bow, bow. Maybe not my butt. The rest of me. Cat is an extra from the aristocrats. Hmm. Aristocats. I saw that not too long ago. Mouse stuck in the cat door? Maybe. And he, she is thinking humans and AIs take so long to train. Help step bro, I'm stuck in the cat door. That is such a me problem. <laughs> that was my favorite movie when I was younger. Hmm. Sugar tits like the toilet water because cats tend to prefer water with more oxygen in it. And flushing does that. Water sat in a bowl can be stale to a cat. Do I let it drink from the toilet? I feel like that's wrong, right? No, I'm just asking. I don't know. You're telling me. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that. You know what I did hear about though, that looks kind of cool. There's little cat water fountains that kind of like continuously generate, like they go in like a circle. It's a little cat fountain. Do you think he'd like that? You should get that for him. Don't let it drink. Yeah, I don't want him in the toilet. I was just asking. I don't, I don't want him there though. Hmm? Hmm? Some cats like it, some don't. Do you think it's worth getting it? Is that wasteful? I hear cats are one of the one one of all, like of pets that people can have, one of the most dehydrated. Most cats like moving water. Okay, well, I'll go look it up. Cat drinking fountain. Cat drinking fountain. Cat water fountains. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I like these. They're cu they're cute. It looks like cats like them. 
I don't like the, this one. I don't like this one. It looks like he's throwing up. Wait, save image. File save. <laughs> image. I don't like this one. It looks like the cat's like throwing up or something. <laughs> I don't know who thought of that one. That was weird. I'm gonna type in weird cat drinking fountain. Do you like running water? This is funny. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my god. I guess I don't know because I'm like I'm not a cat owner. All I really know about cats are like TikTok. Aww. <laughs> cats are so funny. Ah! Look at this cat. Um, save. This cat looks traumatized. Uh, boop a doop a doop. Why have you done this to me? <laughs> why, mother, why? <laughs> Like replaying all of all of like his, his, his like his in, his insecurities of life. He's like, why did I do that when I was seven? Why? Why did I do that? Oh shit! I think I left the stove on my old apartment. That's the face. <laughs> <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> Are you moving to bitch up a dup dup I am gonna be trying out different um platforms after absolutely. I've already, I've been doing that since day one. I like to diversify. I like streaming all over the place. You could say I get around. <laughs> That's not sugar tits, but probably if I washed him he'd probably make the same face. I love seeing you everywhere. Aw, thank you. Meow. They like it just as much as we do. Still water makes bacteria grow fast, which is why we replace water so often. Running water also tastes fresher. Fair. Hmm. Aw, thank you, Phoenix. Aw, you guys are so supportive, damn. My goodness gracious, thank you. Well, me oh my, Mel's a treasure. No, no, no. I'm the worst. Now to find cat babes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Wait, I could get this for sugar tits. Oh my God. Check this noise out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on! File save. Are you ready for this? What do you think of this chat? Bro. <laughs> the 
Is that Nanners? Absolutely. This is Nanners. This is Nanners. Um, 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 um. Uh, a baby picture. See, I don't really want a toilet replica in my living room. But he might appreciate it. I don't know. As much as I love toilets in my kitchen. Um... Maybe it would inspire him to be like, oh yeah, just toilets in general. I love them all. I'll use them all the time. And I, I want to get him away from that. It's the same size as Mel. Rude! Put it next to your toilet. Hmm. You ever try to lug a toilet up the stairs? You know, I only tend to carry stairs. Uh, toilets, big porcelain toilets upstairs, maybe once a month, so no. I don't have too much experience. Why do you ask? It's just a thing you do on the weekend, you know, just walking toilets around. Yeah. You know, as as you as you do. It's good exercise. Yes, of course. It's probably the smartest, uh, easiest, most affordable way to exercise. Um, carrying toilets. I don't know why I never suggested that. That's just basic. That's baseline exercise. Hmm? Oh yeah, definitely. All the time. Oh yeah. I huck, huck toilets over balconies daily. I feel like that will murder someone. Also sounds really wasteful. I guess we can take sugar to the vet. I guess I'd need a kennel. I need to figure out where to get all this pet stuff. We're gonna steal a cat, guys. We're gonna be a cat thief. I'm gonna steal a cat, just gonna smuggle him. I guess I have to find a vet too. All these responsibilities, I'm scared. Hmm? Oh my god, that meme with the <laughs> I'm currently watching you on the boop doop doop boop boo. That's nice. Wait, you don't carry a toilet outside? How do you pop outdoors? I I just don't do it. I don't do anything like that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cat heist, yeah. We don't mention the other. I, I don't know what you're saying, man. <laughs> I'm strong, but not the strongest. Mel, why are you stealing again? Cuz, 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 you're not the boss of me. Fuck a toilet, I use a brush like a real man. Yeah! Why? One man's toilet is another man's sink. I'm f you. Ugh. Why are you guys trying to upset me? Gross. Trauma, trauma. Oh, I wanna thank some people. We don't have to wait till the very end. I can catch up now. Do 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 Bidets are a thing. They are, but aren't you supposed to wipe and then bidet? Using your toothbrush saves on needing to buy toilet paper. Uh! Why are you like this? Why are you like this? <laughs> hmm? I blame Twitch. Fair enough. Hmm? Oh shit, your roommate set off the fire alarm? 
What the shit? That's so embarrassing. Mel, did you think you were supposed to be day after you wipe? No. Shut up, still me. Hmm? Hmm? You used to the day before you poop. Wait, what? What? Hmm? <laughs> I... Well, I don't even do that. But if I did, I, I'd use a wet... A wet wipe. Like a bath or like a wipe. And then... The bidet on... on Okay. Um. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I just use a leaf, yo. Using a bidet is like chewing live gum. Okay, that I agree with. I mean, fair? Oh. Just use three seashells. Yes, of course. That's the mo that makes the most sense. Oh yeah, pine cone too. Nothing is more gentle than a pine cone. Oh. Turn up full blast so it tickles your prostate. I don't have a prostate, but that sounds fun. Happy birthday, Kazuo. You guys are weird. Stop being weird. God damn. Thank you, Mast, for 14 months. And Britis for 690. And Phantasma for $11. For Sasquatch for 13 months and Mikulex for 31! I just farted Lamau XD. That's how- that's your 31 month message? Really? 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 Thank you, your name here, 234, for resubbing to tier 3 for two poggy months. Thank you. And Vara for 690. Thank you, Dead Faced Man for 690 as well. And Dreams for 21 months. Well, well, well. Only one more month until two years. As a follower of the one true god, Goku Black, I will make sure that all shall know divine justice within the science team for many years to come. Ah ha 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 ha. PML wear foo foo. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Slow Hero, for 13 months. And, um,. Our clock for 30 months. Time to start the dirty 30 of sub years, female heart. Dirty 30, oh my. Looking forward to that. Ooh la la. Commander Hitman, thank you for tier 2 for 13 months. And, ha and thank you, Reed Bandit, for 22 months. And Oxel is Frick for 27 months. Streamer detected Pog Plant ramble my ears off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Stolen Tag, for 20 months, and CM Pony for five bucks. We're slogging, baby. Thank you to Bowser for 20 months, and, and, and Shadow Miku for tier two for 29 months. Madness Bomber for $5. We're hype training! We're hype training! Question, I remember you said you went a bit of a We will eventually do tarot stuff. I just need to do a little more research. I have all the stuff too. Thank you! Thank you! Hell it scam train is best train! Thank you! Thank you, Purge on Dancer for a year. Ooh, sandwich? Yes, please. And British, and then what you from? Oh! Warrior, thank you for five subs. Oh shit, hold on. Ah, uh, 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 desert foe for for twenty three months, and 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 again, Chowga. Ah, sugar, I see you. 
Um, for again, tier three to 16 Jala. And thank you, District Z, again for 10 subs. And Issa, again, for five subs. And, 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 uh, uh, Talthus Fatebearer for 24 months. I am crazy. Thank you. PMX for 13 months. And Atlas loves you for 20. Mel Strong. Um, Coast of Alex for $2. I'm glad I was able to help. Yesterday. I'm really happy for you. For no reason. Nothing at all. Nothing. I'm very happy for you. <sighs> Thank you, Blue, for 21 months. And um, the Holy Plate for 25. <laughs> Thank you, Rex, for 31 months. And Normandy for 15. <laughs> Inspector for 15 months, Cookie Low for 1024. Gross! Zid for 24 months, Warrior again for 5 subs, um, um, Danger for 13 months, and Alpha Combat for 10 subs, baby! 10 subs, baby! Thank you! Scam train, scam train, scam train, scam train! Warrior, thank you for 5 more subs! Oh shit, we're almost back at 4,000 subs. Um, 201 subs, and that brings us to 4,000. Oh shit, baby. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Huh? Level 3 hype train. Oh la la. Thank you. Oh, level 4, never mind. Subs for the cat drinking fountain. <laughs> oh my gosh, my stomach will not shut up. I'm grabbing the, I'm grabbing the oats. I'm grabbing the oats. Stop, wait, I didn't, wait, oh my gosh. Um, thank you, Medical, for five subs, thank you. Thank you, Medical. And, and, and Vara, Vara, thank you for 10 subs, Vara, thank you. Oh God, I was just getting stuck, so I'm sorry. I, um, Dracoth, thank you for five subs, Dracoth. And, and Fatebearer, thank you for five subs, oh my gosh, thank you. Guys are double teaming me, I was, I, I was just away for a second. Thank you. Miser, thank you for five subs. Miser, thank you. I'm just stopping my face. I'm so sorry, I was just really hungry. And I thank you. Level five, oh my gosh. Thank you for level five hype train. Thank you for level five. Thank you. Thank you. You will be spared when I take over this world. Thank you. Sustenance noises. Oh yeah, I'm sustenancing right now. Mm. 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 Sustaining, sustenancing, sussy tenant, susten. I'm not sus. I'm just getting my daily blue. Thank you all. Mm. 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 I 
like pumpkin seeds. It's rare that I don't like a seed. I love seed. Seed me, daddy. Oh, God. Why do I talk like this? Why do I talk like this? Why? Why do I talk like this? No, it's not funny. It's stupid. Why? What is my problem? What is my problem? God damn it. Stop laughing at me. God damn it. I will seed you, Grandpa. <laughs> Lorenzo, thank you for a year. Thank you for the glorious 12 months with you and the science team, Melly. Aw, thank you. And Michaelius Oxenfeld, thank you for 29 months. And oh, 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 Nino. Nino, thank you for five. <gasps> thank you, Nino, for five subs. Gracias, thank you. Dizzle, thank you for five subs. Oh my gosh. Um, 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 um. <laughs> I'm just stuffing my face and you guys are donating. Stop it. I'm embarrassed. Stop it! You're embarrassing me! My face does what? I'm like licking my lips, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, pizza. How's the blue oats? It's so good and it's so blue. Thank you. Doing your second stream? Oh my god, good luck! Good luck! I was hearing things. Oh my god. That must be really scary, but also really exciting. I'm glad I'm glad you're you're, you're streaming if it makes you happy. I wish you luck. I'm sure it's spooky. But rewarding. That meme is horrible, or that gif is horrible. Thank you for ruining my life. Um, Neko Suki, thank you. Not exaggerating, my life has been ruined because you posted that gif, thank you. Thank you very much. I will never be the same. I'm a little worse off and hate humans a little more. Thank you. That'll, that'll do it, yep. Worth it. Wow. Well, 
Well, do you regret Mel? I regret everything. Her day, her, her disappointment is immeasurable and her day is ruined. Yes, yes, from that meme. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No comment, Turquoise. Oh no, anyway. <laughs> Faith in humanity destroyed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Listen here, you little shit. Yeah! Is it not hard to eat while making noises? Of course. Eating's difficult when you're not, you know, tangible. Very difficult. Ahoy! Hi! Bone Daddy, thank you for 29 months. Love the hot spring background, Mel. Towel stream? I mean, I guess I could've. <laughs> Mel's the perfect blend of chaotic and friendly. I'm not friendly, you mother fricker! You come here, you come into my house, you come into my house, bring you tell me I'm friendly. Hell no! Oh my god, I love that art, Atlas. Oh my god, I was watching a sh I was watching a uh, yesterday. That's so fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell that story here. Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait, is that me? Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait. I don't think I've seen that one. Finished a little instant project. Oh, you made that yourself, Atlas? I didn't do the art. Oh. Ah, it's pretty damn hot, man. I just added the cat door. Cat door? Oh, what was it before? It looks like I was in a hole. Like it's those video, those uh, check videos I watch. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. I feel like I've seen them do a few other things with a bunch of people. That's pretty damn hot. I see. Was it a calm by you? <laughs> Oh my. Huh? Sorry guys, sorry, I was looking at porn. Um wholesomely hell raising? No. Why did I ever think it was gonna be wholesome? Why would it be wholesome? Usually, I mean if you're gonna put a spoiler on it, it's pro eh, I it could go either way. <laughs> Project Melody N check, please. <laughs> oh I see it's from that one. It's from that one. Oh my god, the way you designed it! It looked like I was in that, you know, that, uh, that place where there's the lady at the front and you go over the money and then you get like an hour and you go in the back and then like, you know, like the little individual, little, little, little bo the boxes. Never mind. Um, <laughs> does she mean a, well, it's kind like that, but it's mostly just holes and walls. It's kind of one-sided. <laughs> hmm? Wait. Hmm? A love hotel? Oh, no, no. No, not at all. Yeah, it's like a whole, like the other side is the church confessional, but really the other side is like a naked lady. And you can see the top part of her torso, like belly button up, and she's in there and she's waving and stuff and she's doing her thing. And the other side, never mind. Hmm? Thank you. Nope. 
I love the old lady at the reception desk for those videos. She's so jaded and like, yeah, it is pay and go. Oh my God, right? I think she was blonde or something and she's just like writing or something. It's like, what are you writing? You're just going through like your, I don't know. Yeah, she's always like writing. She's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, just go. Mm -hmm. She's so dismissive. I love that you know who I'm talking about. She's so great. She just has no time for their malarkey. That's so funny. Yeah, those are so, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I probably watch those more than any other type of uh, series. I would be the check the checkout lady for like like a like a summer job. Like, oh, what are you doing this summer, Mel? Are you traveling? What are you? Oh no, I'm working. I'm working. What are you working? Ugh, reception. <laughs> What's your last job? Receptionist. Oh, where? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Receptionist at this little hole in the wall. Oh my God. That's the funniest thing you could have said. That is so incredibly funny. Oh my God. Receptionist at this little hole in the wall. Oh my God. That was so clever. It was so funny, Mel isn't even laughing. Yeah, that's how I'm dumbfounded by how funny that was. Bravo! <laughs> yeah, fuck whoever said that for thinking of it first. <laughs> I just joined and I'm so lost. It's okay, people who haven't just joined are also very lost. It's okay. Thank you, Nest Studios, for 14 months. Shiva and Ina get stuck in bush, pretends everything is okay. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Mom, I'm lost, come get me. Yeah, oh, that's fair. Welcome to the typical Melody stream. Join the Discord to become less lost. Uh, I mean, you'll still be lost, but at least you'll see the memes. <laughs> For more information on how to join the Discord, besides having to be 18 and up, because we're all sophisticated adults in there, you can find out from my Twitter. Mm. 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 Don't join, you'll get bullied. Oh, you will absolutely get bullied. <laughs> Wait, what is that, hot boner? Wait. <laughs> oh, it kind of makes me think of that JoJo episode, or uh, that JoJo uh, character, the one who's got the sentient bullets. Yeah. Nice, Gundo. Mista and the oi. Oi. <laughs> Mista's in here? Oh, bother. Hi. If you're in here, hello. I, I, I love uh, making fun of you on Twitter. You're always posting something I'm laughing at. <laughs> Mista is the JoJo character. Oh yeah! I was thinking Mista Mista. Our Mista. I see, I see, I see, I see. Fun fact, you can legally have smacks before you can legally drink alcohol. 
Um, I guess that's true, yeah. You can do a lot of things before you can do other things. Hmm? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, that's horrible. What is that? Ricardo, you've upset me greatly. Thank you for that. That's horrible. You should feel bad. Ugh. 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 You guys are torturing me. Ugh. Hate everything about that. You can do a lot of things before you can do other things. Melody, 202. Ah, yes, 202. What a great year. Did a, accomplished a lot that year. 202 was a... I think I had a, I had longer hair that year. It was good. It was a good year, 202. Hmm? Yeah. This is just the norm, Mel. You get used to it. I'm waiting for Washington State to ra raise age to 21 to match booze and. I mean. Countries, states are weird. Do you think everything would just be like a unified? But I guess not. Everything's so different. It's weird that that. I don't know. It's fight. It's just, I, I mean, maybe I guess it's different now. But it's weird that it used to be that like you could become married to someone of the same sex and stuff, and then you drive a little bit and then not. That's just stupid to me. I don't know. That's disgusting. I'm closing Discord. Can't. I can't anymore. Hmm? I hope you have a good plane, plane, plane time. I hope you have a good plane time. What is wrong with me? I hope you have a good flight. Wow, I'm insane. Have a good plane time. Have a, have a good one. Have a, have a good, have, have the best plane time ever. <laughs> have a good plane. <laughs> <sighs> Mel, you know how Discord is. It's just your memes are so gross. Why? I like playing time better. It sounds more fun. Did I miss a couple of white claws or is she just like this today? I'm just like this today. I'm just out of it. Like past two days, man. I just think I'm sick, but in a way I don't know how. I am sick, but I don't know it yet. Cause my brain is being sponge and it's very confusing. I'm not able to keep up with chat as well. That's how I know something's off. Maybe it's, I got one of those seasonals. I don't know. Either sick or sleep deprivation. I blame lost. Yes, could be both, could be either. Either way, I'm a little, little out of it. I'm not in a driving state of mind. I like the show and I will finish it. God damn it. Hmm? I'm sure it'll get better. I'd be very surprised if it didn't. Also, I'm gonna feel like shit this week. I'm gonna feel like shit this week. Go and get boosted. What's up? Hmm? Yeah, the TV show Lost. I'd never seen it before. Now I'm wa I'm marathoning it. I'm into it, bro. Got a busy week this week. I know we got Patreon. We got a lot of stuff. Get boosted. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I doubt you'll like the ending. Don't you fucking spoil it. Don't you dare. What season are you on? And do you reach the Dharma part? Yep, 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 yep. The last episode is um, Walt gets to go and Michael get to 
They're like, okay, everyone else is fucked, but you guys can go home. And <laughs> it's like, I would have so much guilt. Um, and so they're like, okay, the only way to get off, uh, out of the island, like the, what, the vortex, whatever, you have to go one, three, five or something. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that means. So I wrote one of my smart friends, really smart friends. I said, what is, what's the number mean? And he was like, oh, bearings. They're, they're talking about bearings. So they would be on one, three, uh, 135. I'm like, oh, what does that mean? And so, <laughs> so on a, on a compass, you got north, south, east, west. And like, bearings are like the, like the directions on, of like, so the, the basically he's, he's in a ship and he's trying to escape the, like the island and stuff and like go back to like civilization away from this crazy mysterious place. And, um. The, the guy's like, if you're gonna find your way out, you go to 135. And so on a little compass, it goes all the way up to 360. And so the compasses always point true north. And so you would follow the bear and you go all the way down to 135. And so since it's 360, I guess it would be southeast. They would have to sail southeast to escape the area. So on the compass, it would be at the 135th place. That's the bearing bearing one through five. And so that's really cool. I didn't know about that. I think I've got the bearings of it. <laughs> yep, you can join Discord through my Patronus automatic ad. Boo! Boo, you suck, Mel! You suck, I hate you. Yeah, well, I hate me too, so blah. Wait, Mel is a Discord? Nope. Nope, I don't. Nope. I don't know if I can bear to hear this. Mmm. Hmm? I have been there an hour and it's already golden. You mean the Discord? But I hate you more. Wait. Oh, my heart. Oh my god, Paraguay, you're so mean. Namaste and good luck. We just discovered that maybe Desmond was the cause of the plane crash. But also they didn't push the button for the first time and everything got all sh earthquakey. And also Echo made an explosion and got hurt un understandably because he made an explosion. I also, um, when Echo tried to blow up the door so he could go in and press the button before the, the thing went off, um, there was a huge fireball that blasted through the, the alley or the th through the tunnel and stuff and almost burned Charlie um, alive. However, comma, I asked one of my smart friends who's technical and knows explosives and guns and all that. And I'm like, explain, would the fireball have scorched him alive? And he's like, close, there'd be no goddamn fireball. And I'm like, oh, and so then I ended up watching Mythbusters. And so I'm like, explosive, explosive, fire. And he's like, yeah, explode. Where did the fire come from, Mel? I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> From the explosion? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't doesn't do well, what's it do? It explodes, Melody! I don't understand! Fine, we're watching Mythbusters. <laughs> I said, how are you gonna get all the fireball then? He's like, lots of gasoline. Yep. I'm like, so this wouldn't scare you? And he's like, it makes no scientific sense, so no, I would not be afraid. All right, must be interesting to live in a scientist's mind. I'm gonna cast magic missile. 
Yep, it's concussion and shrapnel that do the damage. Yeah, there's an explosion shrapnel, absolutely. Absolutely! Also, 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 um, assuming you survive, because man, he detonated some, well, I, was, I don't know, it was very risky. Um, maybe permanent hearing loss? Maybe even like the baby when that, when that shockwave or whatever went through, like, did that affect the baby's hearing? I have so many questions. What does explosions do, Mel? What do they do? Explode. Well, I hope Echo didn't die, cause man, he's he's muscly. <laughs> I could handle a few more episodes. What? Shut up! <laughs> I I like all types of people. You can be a little short nerd person, you could be a tall nerd person, you could be a girl, you could be a boy, you could be non-binary, you could be a mus muscly, muscly priest named Mr. Echo. You could be anything! If I like you, I like you. <laughs> I think with him, I really like his passion gets really excited about things he cares about and I'm like, oh, I want you to have all the things. Hmm? Sawyer's too cocky. I don't like him. He's too, he's too full of himself. I don't like him. Like, oh, you're tan and you have an accent thing. And oh, oh, the bad boy. Shut up, you're a rude person. He's rude, I don't like that. Hmm? Oh my God, I have so many complaints about Lost, I can't even describe. Oh my God, Jack. Okay guys. We're gonna take the island where everyone's marooned. We're gonna take the only doctor and we're gonna put him in all of the most dangerous situations. And he's sort of like leading the pack, like, oh, oh, there, there's an, there is a, a cave-in. Oh, there is a serial killer. Oh, polar bear attack. Let's just send the doctor. Oh man, every single time, let's just send the island's only doctor. What the fuck? Why? Why? Why do they do, everyone on the island is stupid. Just so you know, everyone is stupid. <laughs> so when they enter that area of the island, it must make you stupid because man, the choices that they make in this show. Yeah, like whenever, the, the second I noticed where Jack's like, I'm gonna go help him, like, whoa, da, 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 da. whoa, wait, you're, you're the doctor. So there's this thing, uh, I forget what country it is. Maybe it's with Laotians? I'm trying, ah. Hmm. It's like East Asia. I can't remember where it is. Ooh, wait. Was it in Kathmandu? I'm looking in my brain hole. I think it was somewhere in India. It's like this princess thing. And every single year, um, like one, young girl is chosen like to be the representation of like a reincarnate is it in bangladesh a reincarnation of a goddess and stuff and it like is really uh, special and like promotes morale and it's just like this this ritual like custom that's gone gone on for years and years and years and years and years and years and years and, years and, years. and the kali you get to be kali um it's in nepal for like a full year and this girl is treated like the reincarnation of the goddess. And she's in like amazing jewelry and she eats the finest food. And like, she's not allowed to step on the ground. Like they put pillows and stuff. Um, it's very, 
very different. I've never heard of anything like it except in this situation. And so with this doctor, I just think about like the the Kali, the the goddess. I, I think like he's the only doctor on this island where all these people are marooned. He should be treated like 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 the goddess. Like he like why is he walking into into the forest? No, make him his castle on on the sand. Bring him his mangoes. Like this this guy is the only one keeping us from all dying. This is the mo this is the MVP. This is the most important player on this island is the doctor. Don't let him come to any harm at all. Protect him at all. What? That's all my brain is saying is like, stop putting him in situation. No, no, protect him. Hmm? I've never played Tomb Raider. Hmm? Dude, stop sharing my brains though. What do you mean? Don't let them come. We must make Melly or Kali. No! Isn't it Kumari? I, I don't know. I don't know, I saw a documentary a million years ago, so it's really fuzzy. You have to protect your healers, especially if you only have one. I need to finish Edge Runners tonight. Does anyone else think that the doctor should be protected and treated well at all costs? Or am I just taking crazy pills? Yeah, he's clearly, he's clearly expendable, of course. Yeah, like, like in, in Lost, someone will get like, like, they'll get stabbed and they're bleeding out and they're like, oh shit, is this bad? And they're like, I don't know, let's rub some dirt in it. And the doctor's like, oh, why don't we clean it and bandage it? And they're like, holy shit, why didn't we think of that? He's very important because everyone's stupid. Everyone's so stupid. <laughs> I found these rusty scissors. I was just gonna like move them around the wound and see if something happened. We could use fresh water to clean it. Oh, I mean, I guess you could try that, sure. So many times they're like, oh, I wonder where the doctor is. The fact that they're saying that means he shouldn't be off like fighting the 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 enemy, the others, the enemies on the other side of the island. I know this is like 20 years too late, but I'm, I have so many opinions about Lost. This is like me, this is like me, like right now, just like, 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 ho like hocked up on sugar, like so much sugar and like a shit ton of coffee. And I've just been up for like five days and I'm like, here's my issues with the war of 1812. Okay guys, this is wrong and that is wrong and that it's like, dude, that was long ago. Your, your rants are, are not helpful. <laughs> but here I am going on about loss in like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> of all the conflicts, why the War of 1812? It was the first thing that came to my brain. There's very few wars where I know, know the name. I know Bay of Pigs because it had an animal in it, so I remembered it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know all the names. Dude, same. Wait, really? Hmm? Know about the war on drugs and then suddenly like those, those eight bit sunglasses like come down in my eyes. <laughs> in like a, in like an Obey hat. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> that wasn't a war? Okay, well, it had the word war on it. I'm sorry. Clone Wars, that one I know about. Oh, yeah, Clone Wars. A hundred years war? Yeah, I heard that wasn't a hundred years. <laughs> to be fair, Brutus did stab him in the groin. Sorry, what? Wasn't there a military platoon that had a war bear? They had a bear? War, what is it good for? Nothing, I say. That's a song, isn't it? I think that's a song. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Who was it by? By Rush? I never guess what it's called. I don't know. Hmm? Despacito? No, that's not it. What the shit? Hmm? It's just custom music. It's pretty nice, huh? Isaac Wolf. Hmm? Mel's gonna sing Despacito? Fathers. I don't know the lyrics to it, I'm sorry. War bear thing was actually real, I just looked it up. What? I don't think you can domesticate bears. Corporal Wojtek was a bear in the Pol Polish land forces in World War II. Why did they have a bear? What? They trained it. They trained it and it, it and it became a corporal. The bear. It rose in ranks depending upon its merit. A bear. Yes. Of course. Now that. Now that tracks. Mm hmm. They train it to deliver ammo. Oh, so he's like Balto. You can't train everything. History is very interesting. They're crazy, Mel. You can't have been the only crazy person who ever lived. I guess not. Can you train a Mel? You can try. I have to be in the right state of mind. Apparently, he really liked vodka and cigarettes. Wait, so not only did they train this bear to give ammo to troop people, but also he r rose in ranks in the military and he smoked and he drank. This was a bear. This was all a bear. Yes. What in the fuck is happening? What? I don't understand. This can't be real. This can't be real. He didn't smoke the cigarettes. He just ate them. <laughs> Wartech? God, you're all talking about them. Hold on. Corporal Wartech. You guys are fucking with me. Oh my god, you're not! Years in the military service, two and a half. 21 year old bear. <laughs> Born in Iran, died in in Scotland because of course. What? 
What is this bear? Served in the Polish army. What is happening? How far can a bear walk? After the war, he was sent to a zoo in Scotland. Okay, well, that makes more sense. But also, why... I... Oh my god! Wojtek. Um... Vol Voltek. Voltek. Which translates to... He who enjoys war. <laughs> he also drank coffee? <laughs> what? There's a Count Dankula video on him. Well, I'll be watching that. He who enjoys war. How is Wojtek pronounced? Wait, Wojtek? Wait. Wow, li like literally, this is this is a. Th How have I never, never heard of him before? I I don't know what to say. Not only promoted to the rank of corporal, he was adopted as the official emblem of the 22nd. What the shit? Oh, okay, right here. Here's, here's what happened. Wait, hold on. And Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh shit, that's a throwback. Um, right here. They acquired it. Oh, what a cutie. Okay, this is how they got the bear. Okay, Polish forces. Even the Middle East. Okay, okay. On the road, the Polish soldiers encountered a boy carrying a Syrian brown bear and decided to buy the cub from the kid. Staying at the camp being fed condensed milk from old vodka bottles, the bear was donated to the 22nd Artil Artillery Supply Company and named Voshtek, the joyful warrior bear. He became the mascot and promoted morale. He dined on honey and marmalade, smoked and ate cigarettes, and drank a lot of beer. He, he, he often wrestled with his caretakers and was taught to salute people when he was greeted. Reportedly, the bear was saved after his parents were shot by hunters by the little boy, but sold him to the soldiers. Huh. The bear reportedly would cover his eyes when he was sad or in trouble, or or, and he learned to turn on the showers to cool off when he was overheated. This is such a smart bear. The war bear traveled a lot. You had to be very careful because he would very often raid their kitchen. <laughs> wow, like full on, like the, the, he, he was a military bear. This is so weird. This is the weirdest thing. So bizarre. Yeah, no, here's the thing with carrying the shells. Yeah, that was one of the things. Oh shit, here's his little his little thing. Wait, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. This is his emblem that some of them wore on their uh on their outfits and also on his specifically. Look! He's holding a shell thing! That's a bear! That's him holding a the gun thing! He had a little patch. What is that? Hmm? That's like uh, the shells. That's an artillery shell, yes. I know stuff. Ha! 
It does look like a really big pencil. <laughs> it does look like a big pencil. <laughs> yeah, that's a shell. Hmm? Hmm? The bare necessities. Why are you like this? Why are you like that? Because you made us like this. I'm just reading about a historical event that happened where a bear joined the military. You guys are the ones making horrible puns. I didn't teach you how to make that bad of a pun. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for cheering. Thank you. Dude, it's all true. I caught a self portrait. God. Stop making puns. Grin and bear it, man. Oh my God, stop it. Why are you doing this? Stop it. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? What? It's unbearable. I'm gonna, oh my God. Oh my God, I can't, I can't. Oh, I'm getting mad. My brain cell, no. Why are you like this? Oh my God. Jeez, Mel, bear got your time. I'm, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave. Thank you, Flame, for 17 months. I'm gonna start a fire with my mind. Thank you, Kitsune, for 27 months. Oh, if you have a headache, just eat some oats. You can bear the pain. No, please, that's not your sign to leave. I'm, le I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna freaking, oh my God, I'm leaving. Can't handle a couple more, oh my God, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. You're still grizzly, I'm gonna, God damn it, why are you doing this? You're driving me crazy, you're, gr you're driving me crazy, what the fuck? Why? I'm gonna leave. I'll do it. I will absolutely do it. I will. I will leave. You don't know me. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. Mel's barely holding on to her son. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, I can't. I can't. I'm leaving. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 No. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. No. Uh, uh. Hmm? Last subathon day. Let's party hard. Well, hell yeah. Maybe you guys can torture Bow instead of me. I mean, be nice to her. You guys are so freaking me. Oh my God. Do it like you did last time, I dare you. Stop telling me what to do! Some bear over the rain. I'm glad I'm leaving. I'm glad I'm leaving. I was gonna try and promote and get to 4,000 subs because we were so close. No, you guys are awful. Awful. We barely made it to the sub goal. Oh. oh my God. Why are you like this? Why? Oh, thank you, Makana. 
I appreciate that. Everyone else is awful and Makina is trying to compensate for your puns. Awful! Thank you, Makina. I can't. I can't. My brain cell. You, I can't. You've wounded me. I can't. I can't bear to see this. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Thank you, District. Thank you very much for five subs. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I'm out of here. 